Hello, welcome back to. Oh, I can hear myself. Never, nothing ever goes without off without a hitch. So, <laughs> welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building Clearwater County. And uh, you know, it wouldn't be a stream uh, with me involved if there wasn't some sort of mistake in the very beginning. <laughs> so, hopefully, the audio is good. Hopefully, everything looks crisp. I think we're in a good place. And I see that there are 1,198 of you out there. Holy cow. Oh, actually, wait, wait. I'm, I think I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let me see. 834 of you out there. So, thank you all so much for being here. I'm just uh, seeing where you are all from, and I see from all over the world. So thank you, Planner Pete, for asking that question. If you haven't dropped where you're from today, why don't you drop that into the chat and I'll take a look while I explain what we're going to be doing today, because we've got a couple of interesting things that we're going to need to take care of. So here's the main issue with the video today. So I, I, I released the video or I, I, I recorded the video and I began to edit it. And I realized that my audio was completely messed up uh, after about 45 minutes into the, the, the two hour long recording. So I'd have to redo the audio. Um, that might not have been a big deal if it weren't for the reason that we're paused right now, which is if you come through here, you can see that we're having a death wave and I didn't catch it. Holy cow. Got some, got some, uh, let's, let's see where everyone's from. Let's see. Let's see. Santa Monica, Netherlands, Baltimore, Michigan, Canada, Palm Springs, London, Florida, Norway, Belarus, Jamaica, UK, Portugal, Portugal, Germany, Belgium, Madison, Michael Moore, thank you for being here, Wisconsin, Illinois, Sweden, Michigan, De uh, uh, Sheboygan, Indiana, Liverpool, India, Germany, Indianapolis, New Brunswick, Waukesha, Milwaukee, Wisconsinites representing in here today. Hopefully you guys are getting the snow too. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I know that uh, it's a Saturday. You got you have a ton of things that you could be doing and you're here with me and uh, you're with the community. And I, I really appreciate that. And oh, I, I, I see that Eggsy's in here too. Hey Eggsy, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and Ryan, thank you so much for the super chat. One thing you're going to notice is I wanted this to feel more like a video experience. So I've taken some of the um, chat overlays and I've tried to simplify them and make them just a little less intrusive so that if you're watching this on replay right now, it uh, it won't feel quite as bad. And if you're watching it here with me live, it's not as in your face as it was last time. So hopefully, hopefully that works. The other thing I want to point out is that we're going to be listening to only master plan music through this. Um, I just want to show you guys the, the music that I'm putting together. Uh, and I'm going to slowly be transitioning more of the music on the channel to this. I've been commissioning songs for a while now, and I have a, I'm at a point now where I've got a 150 of them ready to go. Uh, so I'm slowly releasing them and I'm uh, excited to share them with you. And hopefully uh, we'll give you the opportunity to use them in the future as well. So a uh, couple of quick things, Arthi, so much for uh, for being a member for seven months. Uh, we urge you to know how excited you are with the new roads. I, I am very excited with the new about the new roads. Truthfully, though, I think I'm more excited about some of the content creator packs, which is kind of where I normally land. The content creator packs really change the game for me. And Wallalicious, thank you for becoming an associate planner. Um, so we're going to need to deal with this death wave today. And then we're going to build our solar farm right about here. And I'll be honest, I, I really liked the solar farm that I built uh, in the video. And... Uh, we're gonna to try to recreate it. I think I think that we can. Uh, I think that we can do that. Uh, Jao asks how much it costs. I'm guessing for the songs a lot <laughs> more than I should admit. I've been. Uh, I've been. I've been. I want to make sure that whatever I'm paying is fair. And if I, I think that if the artists are undershooting themselves, I generally will give them more anyway. So, is it gonna be on YouTube Music? I. I. I'm working on that. We'll. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, Q gone. Can't stay. Just got back from Ireland. Lots of great pedestrian areas. Had to uh, and had to stop and have a pint in your honor in Galloway at the Key Bar. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Uh, thank you so much for the support. And uh, I, you know, I'm I'm glad that you could stop by and say hello. So yes, Solar Farm. We've got some interesting assets, but we've got to take care of our death wave first. Thank you so much, Jeffrey, for becoming an associate planner. So let's start with that. So I think the most appropriate place to start is actually, let's look at our city statistics. 
And you can see that in our last episode, we maxed out our population at 76,000. And then we started a precipitous decline. And that's because I didn't notice that we are having problems with our death care. So if we come and we take a look at this, let's see where, where our issues are. Wow, almost 300 deceased citizens in our community. And it looks like everyone's dead at our university. So that's, that's a concern. It makes me wonder, we've been really reliant on cemeteries and these could be filling up. Truthfully, no, it's they're not in use either. That is bizarre. This could also be kind of a remnant of one of the mods that we have. We have a mod that's auto emptying these. So that's supposed to help maintain these. Um, then the other concern that I, it could be is that if we look, there are portions of the community that I just don't think we really have death care coverage in. So really in our new near our university, we don't have coverage there. If we look over here in Johnson Creek, we don't really have coverage there. Otter Lake, we don't have coverage there. So that means that all of these hearses are traveling even further than they normally would be. So what ultimately caused me to pull the video was Ashland. And it's already a problem here. But you can see that all of these buildings are abandoning in Ashland. And this, this is death care. If we look, it's all death care. Oh, low land value. Okay. <laughs> make, make a liar out of me. Uh, not enough workers, not enough workers. No one collected dead people. So that is, that's the one I'm worried about. Not enough people collecting dead people. So we are going to pop on through and we don't have any cryo preservatories in here. I think that they're kind of a silly asset, but I think it's even sillier that we have our normal crematoriums. I'm missing them. They're right there. And, you know, if we take a look at our patient capacity 105, I, I think that having that extra overhead that we have here, 120, and the extra vehicles that these provide, um, it, it's, it just makes it worthwhile. So we're going to work some of those into the build. This is really kind of a maintenance and, and housekeeping sort of thing. So I'm going to add likely somewhere in the, in the realm of five or six of these cryo preservatories throughout the build. Um, so we're going to start over here and I don't want to take out buildings that are already, that are, that are fine. If I can avoid it, we can work these sorts of uses into neighborhoods and I don't want to put it on the main street. That doesn't make a ton of sense to me. That said, it looks like most of the housing is okay. <laughs> so maybe we will take out a building or two. So we'll start here. And I'm gonna take out a house there and we'll say that this was a redevelopment opportunity. Everyone loves that because everyone's dead and uh, they need uh, everyone has a dead body next door and they need it picked up. Hawk, thank you for becoming an associate planner. I appreciate that. And Jam and Spanky, thank you also for becoming an associate planner. Uh, let's see. Exe, CP is too realistic to use move it. Oh, you are way off base there. <laughs> this whole build is going to be move it heavy. <laughs> I'm going to be using move it like it's my job. So it's going to be good. Now, let's pull this up so we know where we have existing death care. We have, what is this? Oh, this is health care. So death care. Oh, yeah, we have the custom cemetery over by... St. Mary's Church. So we have this crematorium too. And maybe this is actually what we should be incorporating throughout the area. Let's 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 compare our different death care assets. And then once we get a couple of these, we're going to run it and I will hop into chat. So right here, 10 hearses. This has eight. Storage 250. Storage 120. Yeah, this is a very ugly asset, very utilitarian, but I I think I think it makes some sense. So we're going to roll with this one. So I'm going to add one of these basically in every community because we don't have enough. Uh Utaro, thank you for becoming an associate planner. So over here again, I hate putting these on the main drag, which you know, maybe isn't the most suitable location for it. So we are going to sneak these over kind of off in our, kind of by our city services. Actually, this is a good location for it. We have our cemetery over here and we've got trees poking through. So we'll go through and add it right here. I'm going to turn off uh, tree anarchy. 
Holy cow, we've got a lot of associate planners here now. Uh, Tamara, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner, and Sam as well, thank you. Uh, and King of Pain asks how I'm doing today. I am okay. I, I've actually just got done with a, a, a rather traumatic experience. <laughs> I had to get flu shots with uh, my kids, and oh boy. <laughs> just, uh, I, I got to demonstrate the flu shot myself, so that was fine. And uh, then my youngest went in there, and she generally is pretty good about flu shots. Uh, but my oldest started freaking out. So then my youngest started freaking out. And then, uh, I, you know, just kind of spirals from there. So eventually what bailed us out was separating them. I took my oldest and I put her outside of the room. And then we uh, we ended up, uh, you know, getting our flu shots. Oh, we're carving into the hillside. <laughs> we, we have to. We're going to make it. We're going we're gonna to forgive ourselves for a bit of imperfection here. We're responding to game mechanics. We're okay. Um, so yeah, we ended up, my youngest getting her, getting her shot. The oldest did not. Uh, I scheduled an appointment for after the stream and we're, I'm a glutton for punishment. We're going to give it another go and we're going to see if it works. So, uh, did I get a lolly? No, they had Starbucks though. So I, uh, you know, <laughs> hot cocoa. Infinity hates shots. You know, I, I hate shots too. I think everyone hates shots. I told, I told her that, uh, if, if you meet someone who likes shots, they're, they're generally pretty weird. <laughs> so, um, I think it's, it's totally, totally reasonable to not like it, but definitely something you got to do. Um, so it's, uh, it's, we're going to, we're going to give it another go and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> um, so I don't have zoning right here, which maybe is something that I could resolve right here. I'm going to force the zoning and see if that fixes it. And I have... I have my anarchy on, so I should be able to just upgrade it. Now we're good. And now if I move it, I don't know why it's doing that, <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll give something else a try. We'll add in, we'll add in one of our, our roads over here and it would be better anyway to, to get this use on its own road. Knock that down a little bit. Yeah. And it's happy now. Now hold down Alt and spin this around. Control H to the road. Do the same thing here. There we go. So, yeah, feeling good about that. Uh, Drake says the only shots that they like are whiskey. <laughs> Hopefully it's a good whiskey. <laughs> uh, I faint every time I get a shot or a blood draw. Yes. Yep. That, that, that. And that's the thing. It's, it's definitely... I, I don't want to traumatize her, so I'm trying my best to to, to not freak out. <laughs> we were there a while. We were there for 45 minutes. Uh, so yeah, it was a, it was a it was an experience. Uh, let's see. Oh, holy cow! I'm, I'm getting all I'm, I miss. If I'm missing these, I apologize. Uh, Gandarian, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Walt, thank you so much. And I missed a super chat. It just disappeared on me. Uh, Corey, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. And there is a super chat from Heavy Arms. Uh, the game studio should play, pay you a commission. Your videos are why I upgraded my PC and bought all the DLC for this game. Thank you so much. You know, I'm, I'm just happy that I have the opportunity to share these videos, truthfully. Uh, I think that it's, it's, uh, it's a real privilege to be able to do this. Uh, it, you know, and if any, any creator who's not looking at it that way, oh, remove the cliffside trees. Good point. Uh, you know, they're not looking at it right. Cause this is a, it's something that is, is a, is a kind of a dream to be able to do this. Uh, let's see. Needles are fine, but blood draw makes me faint. Yeah. Adam G. Thank you so much for the, the super chat. Clearwater County and Nicolay Bay both need a Culver's and a fleet farm. <laughs> so we've got a Culver's, many Culver's in Clearwater County. I can't find a fleet farm asset. I've been looking for a fleet farm or a farm and fleet. Uh, my favorite part of your videos are all the Wisconsinness. Yes. Uh, you can't, you can, you can't take the Wisconsinness out of it. It's never going to happen. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just who I am. So. <laughs> Let's see. I lost. Okay, we're gonna grab this, and I want to add two more of these. We're gonna add one in Johnson Creek, and it's gonna be in the in the, in the nicest place of all. We're gonna sneak it in our industrial area. <laughs> so, just this industrial crematorium. No, we can't do that. We'll put it over here. So this one we are gonna need to add water pipes to, 
because I'm 100% positive we don't have water pipes. Power will jump, and that's fine. Alex Hill, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, happy that I caught a stream, but I do have a question. Would Van Buren ever get a metro, or would it simply be too small of a city for that? Would it, uh, that would never be useful, efficient. It would be useful. Uh, it would be way too expensive for a city this size. I think it all depends on how long we play this build. You know, I had a very... When I started Clearwater County, I had a very clear idea of what I wanted to accomplish in this build, and we haven't done it yet. There's something very specific. It's going to make people a little bummed, I think. Um, but then we'll redeem ourselves. Then we'll redeem ourselves. Uh, I want to. I want to give a huge shout out to the moderators. Thank you so much for going through. I I, I struggled to keep up with the chat, um, and I, I I definitely appreciate the moderation help. Uh, Cities by Diana, thank you so much for being here. Clearwater County is so realistic. Uh, from the air that I feel like I'm in an airplane flying over the Midwest. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's it, this has been an absolute uh, dream of a build to, to, to work on. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, really, this comes down to the map. I mean, the, if you don't have a good map, you're not going to have inspiration. And Exy really just knocked it out of the park with this one. This is a beautiful map. I know that it's actually Italy, <laughs> but but it, it is flexible enough that we can uh, take some liberties there. So uh, absolutely amazing. Let's see, Foxman Design just stopping by to say hi. Hi, uh, I'll watch the stream a bit later as you're sickish. Oh, get well, get well. I, I, I definitely, I feel you there. And uh, I, I have been sick in the last few weeks and I'm finally feeling better. So I, I hope you're, I hope you're feeling good soon too. Uh, Derek, thank you so much for the super chat. This may be, may, may be a strange comment question uh, and you may be unfamiliar, but has anyone ever pointed out you sound like Get bonga. I've heard that. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so I'll have to I'll have to find a video and and understand that reference a little better. Alright, and this area might look familiar to you guys because we actually built over here in the last one. We added this water pump. So I think that what we're going to do is we are going to add a cryopreservatory over here. So it fit into the character of this area a little bit more. And we're going to absolutely be incredibly realistic and just scoot some of these over. <laughs> there we go. Uh, wait, Clearwater County is in Italy too? Yes, Clearwater County is Italy. So uh, if you look at the original list, there's a link to Exe's um, uh, original map. And yeah, it's Italy. It's Italy. All right, I am nervous. Uh, we are gonna resume this and see what happens, and then I'm gonna go through the chat a little bit. So here we are resuming this. We're gonna speed this up, and I'm gonna throw on the death care, and we're gonna jump up to 300. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, Comrade Kenny asks, what happens? To, what happened to City Planner Explains? So that's a good question. So I've had a lot going on uh, in my professional life recently, uh, and then without the editor, it's really my, my YouTube time has been a lot of it's been editing so i think many of the many of the folks in the discord the most active people in there have noticed that i just have not had time to be in the discord and that's mostly because i'm editing a lot now um so any 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 day that i'm doing youtube stuff i'm editing and it's been an interesting experience because i actually really really like it so I'm, I'm, I'm writing more scripts, I'm scripting out the content a bit more, and I'm trying to use editing to tell my story. And that is something that I wasn't able to do when I had an editor. And, you know, I've thought about bringing an editor back in, but here's the thing. So the first editor I had was absolutely awesome. We clicked fairly quickly and things worked out really well. I miss Slazo, he's awesome. Uh, he ended up leaving the company that he was working for and I was editing through a company, so it didn't it didn't quite work out. The second editor I had, we clicked right away, but for reasons of basically, uh, you know, del content delivery on time, we had to part ways. And then the most recent editor, uh, they just, they ended up calling it a day because they, they felt like they, they weren't able to edit the content. There are other things that I want to do with them though, and I think that next year is going to be that time. So... With that in mind, I've thought about bringing on an editor, but it's really a lot of work to do that. And I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just at a point where I want to take a break from uh, number one, being a boss, which is something I'd never done <laughs> before this. 
And uh, I want to take back some of that creative control. And uh, I, I think that that's what separates. I've just kind of noticed that my favorite content creators edit their videos and they are a little bit more personal with it. And uh, I want my videos to feel like that. So um, all of that said, that means that I don't have a ton of time for City Planner Explains right now. I'm hoping that I have more time in the future, though. It's, it's still on my radar and there are many topics that I, I have explored and there's even a group in the discord that was helping me with some scripts and i've been really regretful that i haven't been able to do with more with that and speaking of that group planner duck thank you so much for the support that is a really generous super chat thanks for the stream and for helping to create the community well thank you for being uh, a really prominent part of the community and the continued support it really means a lot to me and uh, i really appreciate all of your patience with me as I take on more of the editing, because I certainly have been responding to comments slower. Part of that is I'm only responding to comments when I'm taking the feedback and doing something with it. I think that initially when I was when I was creating, uh, I would just heart every single comment that I read to show you that I would read the comments. I'm reading the comments as they're coming in now, but when I'm hearting the comments, it's it's really when I'm actually doing something with them. So uh, I'm uh, I'm taking street names and things like that. So uh, I don't finish. And thank you so much for the 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 super chat. It means a lot, and I appreciate the support. And Summit, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, let's see. I can Dragon. I think that's what it is. Asks how would the U.S. House Senate change your job as a planner? Uh, so. The U.S. House and Senate does have an impact on my job as a planner because of federal grants. So anytime there's a change, different parties have different priorities in terms of the kinds of grants that they become that become available. So uh, most recently, a ton of rail and, and transit infrastructure became available when the Democrats were in power in a mixed Congress. I would expect most of that to dry up, uh, but infrastructure money generally to be available if we hadn't had so much injected already. There's so much money out there for transportation that I just don't see a need for more <laughs> for a little while. So, um, yeah, that that's that's probably the main thing uh, is that the federal money that's available changes the grants that are available change and that means that we have different pre we, we get different things available to us as as planners uh thick phoenix asked if i speak spanish i i speak very poorly <laughs> I, I took I, I took three years of spanish and if you if you wanted me to speak in spanish right now i couldn't do it i it's one of my big regrets uh joshua hole thank you so much for becoming associate planner and hayden thank you so much for becoming associate planner as well and holy cow, lots and lots of deletions in the comments. Please, 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 please keep it clean and keep it friendly. All right, so it looks like our crematoriums are kind of helping. I'm a little concerned though. I wanna speed this up. So we're gonna go into play it and we're currently at 0.8% game speed. I'm gonna turn this up to three and so we've got 200 down here and three here. We are cranking and we're going to see what happens because I want to see the population kind of stabilize. And I'm not seeing it just. I mean, we, we had 300 deceased folks in the community and that's dropped down a little bit. So we're in a, a slightly better spot. Uh, I should add more churches in Van Buren. Yes, I churches. And it's funny, the new financial uh, DLC. I was planning on, on, on actually adding a bunch of financial assets to this bill, but now I'm sitting on my hands and waiting. Um, Lacey asked what all the bell sounds were for. Those were because we were close to the tram line. That's one of the reasons I actually backed up. Joseph Powers, thank you so much for the super chat. I don't play uh, City Skylines, but I just find your content soothing and therapeutic. Thanks and keep up creating. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That, uh, that uh, The support means a lot to me, and, and I, I don't think you all realize just how much that support means to a creator. Um, we do, I mean, we're people and uh, it uh, it's really impactful to receive that positive feedback and encouragement. It, it's, it's really helpful. So thank you. All right. I, I do think I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I think that things are going to be okay. <laughs> this is probably a dumb thing to say, but I think that things are going to be okay. So we are going to start on our build. And I'm nervous, but I'm counting. There's 
1,510 of you out there. If you start to see the population drop below 64,000, 64, I want you guys to spam the chat with whatever your favorite emoji is. Just spam it all the way up and down because it will get my attention, even if I'm building. So I'm going to keep an eye on the chat and we will uh, start building this thing. So I brought in a few really interesting assets for this build and I'm excited to share those with you. I'll show you those first and then we're going to take a look at some inspiration for the build because I think that's helpful. So if we go into our electricity menu, we've brought in these solar panel arrays. So there are a number of solar panel assets out there. These are just the ones that, from my perspective, from a power standpoint, make the most sense. So I used a solar panel in Clearwater, or in Clearwater County, in a Bluffside Crossing that was dramatically overpowered. We had this little tiny solar farm that provided power for half of the entire city. This is going to be, we're gonna need a lot of these. So I've done the math, and I've, I'll show you how I've done the math, actually. So we want to get rid of all of our coal power plants. We've got one right here, and it says that it's currently generating 228 megawatts of power. And we got another one over here doing the exact same thing. And then if we look over here, we have our hydro power plant doing 240 as well. So that would seem like the baseline. Blanche, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, it would seem like the baseline, but here's the thing. I actually boosted the, I've been, I've been slowly creeping up on the budget here. So we're going to bring this down, play with some fire and let's check out where we're at now. So right now we've got to look at a couple of things when we are considering our electric, uh, our electricity consumption. So right now we're at 545. Our overhead is 740 and it's about 80 degrees outside, which means that we're not using any electric heat. So when it gets cold, which I'm going to switch the build to winter as soon as I have a significant amount of snow on the ground, which will probably be this week, uh, we are going to go into winter. And that means that we're going to need a lot more in terms of our uh, uh, in terms of our, our electric overhead. So now we can take a look back at these coal power plants and see what they need and what they're producing, and it's a little under 200. So we know that at a minimum, to maintain what we're having, we need to have 400 megawatts worth of uh, electricity. So I'm gonna do a little bit of math here, and I'm a planner, not an engineer, so I stink at it, and I can't do it in my head. So I'm gonna pull up the calculator, and let's see, if we have 400, and our five by eight power plant right here produces 16, we would need 25 of these to replace our coal power plants. So that's something to keep in mind. We also have some battery backup, some battery storage. You don't, don't think that don't think that we're going to skimp there. Uh, they, these aren't functional. So there is a mod that allows your solar panels to turn off at night. I couldn't find functional batteries to make that work. Uh, so we are going to just use these as kind of props. They produce a little bit of power. We're not going to worry about that all that much. Um, but we know that at a minimum, we need 25. So there's something else to know about this asset that's kind of interesting. And I think this is why it's a four star asset and not a five star asset. If you look at this, we have five by ones and they produce two to three megawatts of power. So if we were to use eight of these, now we're producing 24 megawatts, which is more than the five by eight. So it's actually advantageous to you to use the five by ones if they weren't so finicky to work with. <laughs> so. El Demetrius, thank you so much for the uh, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, TC is sick with COVID. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you, you get better. It's not. That certainly stinks. Uh, and it's 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 that uh, it's it feels like this is going to be that time of year for for that. Um, anyway, so here that's that's something to consider. You might want to to use it, and there will be certain cases where it makes sense to use the five by ones. So. Let's pop into some inspiration after I show you this particular asset. We're gonna go into the workshop real quick and I'll show you these assets. So if you wanna pick them up, you can as well. So we'll look at my subscribed items and these right here are the assets that we're using today. So this is from Ben's workshop. It's called Solar Panel Array Pack and this will give you all of these. So. Feel free to check those out. I will eventually link this 
as a pinned comment in here. Uh, the batteries, I'll, I'll link those as well. These are not from the same creator. That's why they function a little bit differently. Uh, Pavy Jones, thank you so much for the super chat. I love that you're tweaking with your power and, and city skylines while I'm pulling OT doing high voltage planning. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, enjoy keeping uh, enjoy keeping your videos on in the background while I'm at work. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the super chat and uh, good luck with your planning. And Loki, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. All right. So in the, I, I'm giving stuff away. You're seeing some other things, other assets that I've subscribed to as well. All right, so for inspiration, I don't know anything. I'm not like Pavy. I don't know uh, power planning. So that's not something that I've been exposed to. So we should look locally. I always encourage looking locally and understanding what's around you. So here we are in Madison and we have a couple of things that we can look at. So first of all, it's not by our capital. The one that I want to use for inspiration, the solar farm, it's right by my favorite Jet Room restaurant. So right past Dane County Municipal Airport, we have this brand new solar farm. It's still under construction. It's one of, I think, three that are under construction right now in my general area. And there's a couple of things to notice about this. First of all, the transportation infrastructure is pretty Spartan. So you'll see that, first of all, we have Highway 51 right here, a US highway. And to get to the solar farm, you have to be going southbound <laughs> and then you can pull in. There's not even a, a cross connection here, which is pretty wild. And then we come in here and I wonder if we can get into street view or if it's so, oh, oh we can. Okay. So you can see that there's a gate in here and one small road, but it's, it's very, there's not a lot going on. So I want to keep this in mind as we're building. We're not completely shielding this thing and hiding it from the world. That's not the goal here. The goal is to keep people out. So we want to make sure that folks aren't able to, to, to run around and break solar panels and things like that. Uh, and we want to have minimal access to these at a minimum. So it looks like there is a paved road that goes through and runs around the back here. And what I find really interesting is it looks like it's a one truck wide uh, path going in between these. It's not even all that big. And then right here are the battery backup solutions. And for the most part, there's a lot of symmetry through here. All of the panels are facing in the same direction. There's no randomly rotated panels, things of that nature. So I think these are all lessons that we can use as we go to create our, uh, our particular uh, solar farm. So with all of that in mind, with our assets in tow, here we are back in Clearwater County. Before we get building, I want to look one more time. We're not really improving and we've dropped below. Shoot. Ah, this kills me. <laughs> the death wave that just will not end. All right, we're going to need to do more. I obviously didn't do enough, so I want to get to the solar farm, but we're going to we're going to do a little bit more here first. All right. Going back to the cryo preservatory idea. And you can see that there's not a lot of death care over here. Yes, this, yes, the 60, I'm seeing that, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. <laughs> so we are gonna need to do something. All the death, all of the death. Um, let's focus on where we don't have good coverage and let, maybe we'll just add in, as much as I think that this asset's silly and, and underpowered, we will add in some of our normal crematoriums and I'm going to replace just buildings that have buildings that have uh, ha had abandonment issues. So I'm looking and it's funny, there aren't that many yet. So I'm going to go back and what I said, we'll place one here. Yeah, and you all would love that because again, dead bodies all over the place. Next up. So we've got enough here, I think. We have nothing over in Bradford, so we will definitely add one here. We've got bodies. Truthfully, I think in Bradford, what may, would make the most sense would be a cemetery near the church. So as silly as this will be, adding a cemetery when we know that they can sometimes have issues, we'll add that back here. And that'll help out quite a bit back here. Uh, then we'll come back in and let's just, we're just going to keep going. 
This is, it's worse to have bodies piling up than anything else, so. Oh, and look at this. We don't really have all that much for death care up here, so this is probably another spot. So we're likely siphoning some of our death care from across the region up here, so that is not a good thing. Logan, thank you so much for the super chat. Just found your channel not too long ago. I'm a UPS driver in Florida. Love the chill videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. My wife is actually in Florida right now. Uh, she's, uh, uh, it's basically Southern Florida doing that, doing a tour with some friends. So, uh, uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing all of her pictures. All right. So let's go ahead and add in a crematorium here. Maybe we just add one. That's a terrible location <laughs> on the main drag, but I would. I could see it. I could see it happening. If we do that, though, we need to have a side street. We can't just load onto this. So I think we are going to add in a crematorium over here. And we'll need to upgrade just a portion of this road here. And then node controller, control N, and try to fix this nonsense. There we go, and we will get this death care added. There we go, so that should be a help there. Got a weird node thing happening here, so we'll get rid of that. Very good, and I'll move this into a better location. All right, has that, has that uh, fulfilled the need at all? How are we doing any better? 245. 245. Just going to keep spamming it. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Our population's going up. That is a positive sign. That means that we're starting to resolve this. I want to do a little bit more just for good measure. And then we can move on from there. We didn't do anything over here in Shorewood, so we will add in additional death care over here. We'll just go with our normal crematorium. We'll look for something that is abandoned. Or actually, I think that you can make a case to put it over here. Although there's no way to turn around. It's the problem with uh, this area is that it's just a it's a line. So if you needed to turn around, you're either whipping a U-turn, which you can't do in the game. <laughs> so maybe back here. This would be a spot that uh, would be a suitable location. Not very desirable. Not many other uses could could facilitate this, but good access throughout the entire region and uh, even to the highway. So we will take that. All right. I'm missing a ton of super chats so, and, uh, and, and messages. So I apologize. Jackie, thank you so much for becoming associate planner. Triangular, thank you so much for the super chat. Weberville Solar Farm is a pretty neat visit for an engineering class I took. It's near Austin, Texas in Weberville. Who could have guessed it? <laughs> I'll have to check that one out. Uh, and then Eileen Jamal says, I may have missed it. But why? Uh, oh, I didn't. I didn't get to the heating part. Yes, yeah. So I will go back to the to the heating part. So that is that is where we're going to figure out our overhead and our maximum number of panels that we need. So, and we're dropping our population again. <laughs> Jeez, that is frustrating. I think we're going to leave it. I at least their demand looks strong. So I came over at the end of the last, uh, at the end of my recording, and all of Van Buren was dead, and that was my, that's my concern. Like at that, at that point, that I wasn't really interested in that. <laughs> and the other thing is, I went, I had, I went through, and I used Move It, and I just, I highlighted, I went to buildings, and I highlighted a huge swath of these things, and I reset them without realizing that as you reset these buildings, every single sim that lives in there goes away. So I dropped the population. So with these, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, uh, Sherry makes a good point. Check child and elder care. That could be helpful. Um, I've placed a lot of these buildings. Are they, are they going to fill back in or do I have to reset these buildings to get them to work right again? So I can go back through here and just reset these. And now everyone's happy. Things are things are looking good. Folks will start moving back in. But if I just leave these and they're abandoned and I've placed them manually using Rico, will they will they come back? Curious. So if you know the answer, please drop it in the comments. Ramon, thank you so much. The trains. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, the trains. Uh, not enough props at the unemployment. Yeah, the unemployment is crazy right now because everyone's dead. <laughs> we, we, we've lost, at this point, 12,000 population. So that is why unemployment is as bad as it is. So I'll reset a couple of these. Um, these are obviously very impactful buildings. If we take a look, I mean, this right here has 10 households. So when you have multiple of these abandoned, that's where the population disappears to. So hopefully that's helpful. We'll have to see. No, if they are historical. And I think many of these are historical. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I guess some of these are the growables. Some are not historical, though. Some are. So that's good to know. So I think that what we'll have to do, hopefully, we're going we're gonna to reset our target. We'll do 62,000. If we cross 62,000, we'll come back over here. Um, so yeah, it looks like Jason Gatewood says we have to reset the historical buildings. Yeah, we'll have to let's think about that. Uh, Commander Fox asked about a NASCAR track. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to I'll think about that. So that that's something that um, you know, if you want a really good build for that, I would highly recommend you check out View Candy. She put together an absolutely excellent racetrack. Very, very creative and very nice build. Uh, Steve asks if I'm using realistic population. I am, and that's part of the problem. <laughs> so, uh, but it looks like our population's rebounding. So we're gonna just pretend that everything's fine, and we're gonna start deleting a bunch of roads over here. So we need to clear the palette, so to speak. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these roads because we don't want people driving around our solar farm. And I don't know that all of this is going to be in the solar farm for now, but in the future, it will very likely be a part of it. Now, I chose this location very purposefully, um, and that is because of its proximity to the landfill. One thing that you'll see now is that some old landfills that have been capped are becoming solar farms. Uh, they're a little bit higher up. There's generally no trees around it. So you have the ability to, uh, to, to, to take that use and do something a little bit better with it. Uh, realistic population is always broken in my cities. <laughs> uh, so that is one thing that we want to consider here. So we need to think about our overhead. We talked about the overhead for power and I talked about what we have right now. So we would need 400 to maintain. And we could shut off our coal power plants. But what would this look like in the winter? So if we go into our theme mixer and we go into weather, we're going to do something. We're going to set our daily minimum and maximum temperature. And for just a moment, we're going to slow this down even. We're going to set our temperatures really low. Now, I believe that this is in Celsius, which I don't I don't understand. Uh, that's the American in me. And I I wish that I did. <laughs> we're going to we're going to set this down. I know that 15 negative 15 is very cold. So in Fahrenheit, that would be probably below zero as well. It's not something that we see a lot, but we see it every now and then. Now, what we're going to see here is that our electricity availability is going to spike. And I want to know just how bad it's going to be, because we're going to want to have more electricity than we would need on our coldest day of the year. And in fact, let's just get really extreme with it. And we'll see on our absolute worst day ever what it would be like. So look at the temperature just plummeting. <laughs> Holy cow. Now we're looking at negative we're going below zero in fahrenheit so in celsius i mean we're going to negative 50. people are people are struggling now so we're looking at this and we're at about a thousand i think negative 20 is about as cold as i could ever imagine it being so we'll take this back and i believe it was well you can reset it 15 and 30. And now the temperature is going to just scream back up to the top and everyone's leaving this entire county because it is it has the craziest weather ever. It's worse than Denver. <laughs> so let's see. I got a couple of super chats. Thank you so much, Mohammed, for the super chat. If you use Rico, it will be historical, even though it will not be shown because it will not have normal area because of move it. OK, so I will need to reset all those manually. So we will do that at the very end. And then Trey, Trey Lane, thank you so much for the super chat. All right, so we're going to use move it a ton for this build. So that's why I said that move it's going to be so important to us because these assets, first of all, we, we have a thousand. Let's figure out how many we would need if we use the five by eights. So if we're going for a thousand, we know that we have 250 generated. 
divided by 16, we need 50 of these things. <laughs> it's absolutely wild. And I guess it was negative 45 in Minnesota last year. I believe that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is a cold snap, just a little one. We're currently experiencing a cold snap, but nothing like this. All right, so let's place our first asset. And the first one, you can do whatever you want with it. So we're gonna face this. If we were to get really specific, we would turn off daylight and try to sight where the sun's coming. I did do that. And the sun comes up this way. So I think this is probably fine if we face the solar panels like this. I don't know. I'm not, uh, you know, I have solar panels on my house. I talked to the professionals and I understood almost nothing of what they were saying. So <laughs> that's one of those things that uh, I will take their word for it. Uh, Lord Kurtz, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. There's one really important thing we need to do here now. We're, these road guidelines are going to screw us up if we don't get rid of them. We want to focus on one set of road guidelines, and that is it. So I'm going to go through here and disable zoning on these roads that we're not using. So the way that we're going to do that is I've gone into the zoning adjuster, gone to disable zoning, and we're going to upgrade these to not have zoning. And I'll just use picker to come through and grab all of the roads. I'll just go through and get rid of the zoning here. And oh, whoa, 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 that's the wrong road. This is a, this is a state highway. So we don't want to do that here. And then the last road is going to be right here. And then we want to make sure that we turn this right back on. So now we're back to normal. We'll send a, just a regular old dirt road through here. Maybe this big road. Let's see which one looks better. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff I want to get rid of. Zoning adjuster won't go away. That's all right. All right, so we'll send this up here. And now you see that we are having issues again. I want, it, I want this to be at a perfect 90, so I'm going to come over here. It looks like this road is slightly off skew, <laughs> which is, you know, going to be a bit of an issue. So I know a couple of things just from playing with this asset. So it's about nine units away. So let's grab this. We're going to have that fence. We're going to want to back this up just a little bit. So this is about where I want to have the road behind this to go. And now I'm going to meet up here and get rid of this. So we were just using this road here to get a nice 90. And now we have this new road, which is going to be the road that we're using to place all of our assets. And all of the rest of these assets are going to be used with uh, place, placed using move it. So I'm going to hit M, pop in here, and we're going to go to toggle snapping. So this is the whole reason why I've cared about all of the craziness with getting this perfectly lined up, getting this road perfectly 90 because if we toggle snapping, now I have guidelines. I'm snapping to the grid here. And that's really useful. Now, I don't love the way that this is lining up here. And I'm not sure that there's a lot that I can do to make it better. Short of just maybe, maybe we just add a paved road. It's not so bad. Yeah, we'll just do that. So in the move it, control C here. And we're going to start just adding a few of these. I think we're going to go about three across. And then we'll leave a space for access. And then we'll go three across again. Now, I'm going to turn on contours because we can't use these on the hillside. And I'll show you why in just a moment. But now that we have these, we can just start adding these pretty generously through here. And with move it, we can get even more. We have even more power. We can just start grabbing a whole bunch of these. And then control C. Here we are again, and you'll see that this is no longer on the same grid, which means that we need to get our roads back there. So we're going to pull these back and now come back into move it. Control C and there we go. Perfectly lined up. Look at all of that power that we have now. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm very curious to see where we're at, but we're going to we're going to hold off for just a moment. I'm going to place a few more of these. We're going to go 
basically all the way back and recreate the thumbnail. Because I did all the math at one point and it worked out. Jordan Collins, thank you so much for the support. I'm very happy to see you build a solar farm. The little environmentalist in me is very happy. Also, I'm in Ohio where we got our first significant snow. Can't wait for clear water to get some. It's, it's coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> thank you so much for the support. I appreciate that. All right. And we're going to stop going north for just a little while and we'll start heading this way. And for a couple of these, we can certainly add in these assets. No problem. But this is about as far as, it, as we can go. And here's why. These do not terraform. Look at how they, they, they <laughs> it's pretty bad. So when we look at these, we're going to need to do something different. This would be fine if we were going to terrace this whole thing out. So if we were to terrace this, completely fine. But to terrace it, we would really need to cut into this hillside. So our better solution is to use our five by ones. And the upshot of this is that we get a little bit more power generation from this as well, because if we take a look at this, we're generating 16. And it's funny, there's this sunshine intensity. I don't think it actually changes ever. So I don't, I, it's, it's kind of funny that it's even there. I'm gonna send this road up here. And this is mainly for our guidelines. And then we're gonna send this over. We're gonna give more access roads in between these because of the hill. We're going to place this first one and then immediately use move it to be able to, to, to line this up appropriately. And now you can see that I can very easily copy this and start pasting these in. And eventually these will be looking pretty bad. We'll lose our tracking, but we're not there yet. Holy cow. It let me get away with that whole row of these. So these look a ton better, but they can look even better. And when you're on steeper slopes, it can be really challenging. So I'm just in move it and held down M and I'm holding down the shift button to select all of these. And now I'm going to set these to the terrain height, which I don't really even like what that did. So I will undo it. Control, uh, control Z. We're going to run a few more of these up here. So let's just go ahead and do this. And the, the easiest way to, to do this is likely going to be to grab picker and make these one by fives our, our, our only selectable building. And now I can just select these. And the nice thing is it's not even selecting the, the five by eights. So I can just copy this and pull it right up. We're going to give that separation because mainly because of terraforming concerns. And then we'll just pull these right up the side here and Let's turn off our contours to see how this looks. Not bad. Not bad. I am going to have a poll. So this is one of the fun things about live streaming this is I had a question in the video about what we should do underneath here. And um, I'm going to ask that in a poll in a moment. Um, thank you so much. I dream in HSV for the super chat. Uh, CPP, what's your favorite level of mods? I feel like vanilla without move it Rico and node controller would stifle creativity. Uh, my favorite level is uh, Nicolay Bay, uh, truthfully. I I like assets, but there's a lot of broken ones out there, and I don't think that I am excellent at always sifting those out. I'm getting better at it, and I'm trying my best, but to get to the... Basically, to get to where I'm at with, with my, my, my mods lists, it's taken a lot of trial and error and a lot of, you know, a lot of struggle. <laughs> and there's something nice about just being, hopping into a game and having some constraints. I mean, I think constraints are what what art is made of, you know? So because of that, it's, it's I, I like it. I think it's, I think it's the, 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 the right approach for me anyway. All right, so we've added in this road back here and it's messed up a bunch of our solar panels. We can, we're gonna move it. We can just pop some of these up get them out from underneath the ground and it'll look just fine. And then we're going to go through. And so the mods question is a great one because here, the network multi-tool being able to slope, this is going to be incredibly valuable. Move. It is just, I don't know how, if, if you have city skylines on a computer and you have the steam workshop and you're not using move it, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's fun to do that in like Verde Beach where really Verde Beach is kind of a 
it's kind of a bit of a test to myself. It's a reason why I'm, I'm, I think I've, it's made me a lot better at the game, but I, that is not how I would normally, I wouldn't, Ooh, I wouldn't say that that's my preferred way of playing. I would Verde beach plus move it would probably, that would be another one where I'd be pretty, pretty satisfied with that. So if I had to pick a few, maybe it would be move it node controller and the network multi-tool. And I could be happy as a clam. I could be done there. That could be, that could be it for me. Um, Hiye, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Phil, there's a little howdy from Texas. Quick thing. Make sure you, all your panels are facing south, especially with how far north Clearwater County is. It's a good point. Let's see. It's facing southwest. So maybe in an ideal world, it'd be facing this way. Oh, that stinks. That's a good point. <laughs> well, we're going to roll it this way, and we're going to pretend that the sun is going in a different direction. <laughs> Uh, Sap Pizza says that they play closer to Nikolai Bay as well. And Aliens leaving. Well, thank you for swinging by. It, it, wow, 1.30 in the morning for you. So thank you so much for, for joining us here. All right. So obviously there's some, some odd stuff here. There's a lot that we could do to try to improve this. Part of it, you know, is just setting it to, to, to level in place. One thing I want to try, though, is we're going to come through here and slope this road. And then we will try... Let's see what is going on uh then we will try to set the slope based on the height and you see that we've got some some differences in elevation there seems like that could be really helpful i also wonder if it would have been helpful to actually have some service roads through here if that would have improved things for us oh shoot that was not what i wanted to do oh shoot so that's the one thing about that tool if you make a mistake like that you can't undo it, even with undo it installed. So I'm going to need to fix these roads now. So let's close our unified UI and get back to just our segments. And I'm going to have to set these back to the terrain height, which is apparently changed now. So we're out of luck there. What's going on? What is going on? It's not having it. It's not having it. Well, I will modify some of these. I wonder if I just do one, if that will do the trick. There we go. And now I can probably go back and slope through here. Now, that was that was unfortunate. So let's come back through and get that fixed. And then we will continue with what I think is going to fix this area. There we go. Uh, let's see, David, thank you so much for the super chat. Keep up the great work and fun builds. Enjoy it greatly. I appreciate that. Vey, again, with the gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 10 gifted memberships. If you are not a member, I would highly recommend you enable the ability to become a member with gifted memberships uh, because you can't get them unless you have that enabled. And I would love to tell you how to do it. And I cannot recall. <laughs> it's one of those things. I think it's fairly evident, but I can't see it in my view. So as a result, I just, I never, I never actually know how to do that. So if anyone knows, drop it in the comment or drop it in the chat. Uh, am I using 81 tiles? Yes. I've been using 81 tiles too, not the first one. So that is, that that's, and that's a good point there with the new base game update that's coming out next week. The one thing that could slow down Clearwater County is the update. I don't know if uh, that's going to have an impact on oh that was that was not good <laughs> i don't know if that's going to have an impact on uh mod mods working or not uh, but that could lead us to be in verde beach and nicolay bay for a while nicolay bay i think is going to be completely fine in terms of mods and things of that nature so we'll have to see all right we're going to play with this a little bit i'm getting obviously these work a lot better on a non-sloped area but we're going to make it work. We're going to force it. We're going to bend it to our will. And I'm uh, I'm done playing around now. No more nice city planner. Here we go. We'll just send some of these down. And if the stilts are high, the stilts are high. It's it's It'll be fine. There we go. And I think we're going to live with this. Now, the poll question that we're going to have is about what's going to go underneath here. So there are two options. We could keep this grassy. Now, if you recall back to the 
solar farm that I showed you nearby where I live, there, uh, there is a, uh, it's grassy underneath there. And there are actually a couple of solar farms in my area that uh, are, are over the top of crop fields. So it's pretty interesting. We're not going to do that. I think that that uh, you know, those are private generally and we're definitely public here. Um, but we could put gravel underneath here to, to make it look like there's dirt underneath there. So I'm going to add a poll question about that. And we will see how you guys all feel about it. And I always forget how to do this. <laughs> we'll start a poll. Okay, grass or gravel? Grass or gravel? Charlie, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. And Jan, thank you as well. Before you answer, do not answer this just yet. I'm going to add, I'm going to show you what this could look like. So if it were gravel... This is an example of what it could look like. So now answer the question and what you see, actually the one thing that this does really well is it hides the terrain issues that we were having. So that is one of the, one of the benefits. We can certainly clean this up. And I wonder, here's some of the most extreme stuff. Wow. It does an excellent job of hiding that. So that is a way to kind of make this look a little bit better. So, Positive Penny, thank you so much for the super chat. Do you have a tutorial on how you switch mods between games and different assets mods? If not, it would be super helpful. Uh, it's actually very, very simple. I have multiple Windows accounts, and I have created, at this point, I have four different Steam accounts that are linked to my main one and different Windows sign-ins. And when you do that, I just have to sw sign into the other Windows account and... Um, Everything loads up as it should be. The one thing that's a little weird is that uh, when you actually load in, it'll ask you to uh, confirm all the agreements again. So it, it ends up being a, kind of a little bit of a hassle. You got to confirm the agreements, shut down, and then load back in. But compared to the 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 absolute nightmare when I started of enabling and disabling mods, and I know that you could use uh, some. Uh, there's a there's a. Um, load mod order mod that allows you to actually create lists and subscribe and unsubscribe to me that's just too much hassle and when i'm switching between builds as frequently as i am just having the different windows accounts makes a ton more sense so let's see we've got 1709 people in here right now and only 462 votes so i want i want i want to get this a little bit higher i'm not going to i'm not going to make a decision on this until i see closer to half at a minimum of, 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 of uh, the folks voting through here. So let's see. Let's see how many votes we can get for this. If we can get to get to 800, that'd be that'd be good. If we get to 800, then we will make a decision. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to check out the chat again. Love your content, man. You're the best city Skylines creator. I inspire to make my cities after yours. Thank you so much, Tasty Boy Gaming. That, that means a lot to me. Um, I... I'm just trying to do my own thing. <laughs> Whoa, gravel has taken over. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's it's interesting. Uh, I've actually, I've gone back. I used to watch a ton of City Skylines content. I still watch a lot, but I've actually started watching less because I don't want to be. I want to keep make sure that I'm whatever I'm doing is just was that is is whatever I'm doing basically. I don't want to. I don't want to inadvertently get inspired by someone else's build and 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 replicate it. So I've been trying my best to watch other sorts of creators. It's been weird for me. It's been really weird. <laughs> but, uh, so it's definitely been interesting. Uh, I do watch a lot of smaller creators, though. So basically, anyone who's bigger, I haven't been watching. <laughs> so hopefully they're doing well. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gravel paths. Oh, gravel paths would be interesting through here, too. We could do that. Um... So we're at 731, a little under half, but I think it's pretty clear that people like gravel here. So we're going to go for it. We're going to end the poll, and I appreciate all of your participation. And I'm truthfully pretty pleased with the result. I think that this is going to look really nice through here, and we can do a, we can do a nice job. So I will just add this through here. We're going to be really careful on the outside, and as I say that, I just go right over the side. <laughs> and... What I want to do now is we're going to fill in these areas. I think we're going to go all the way back over here and then we'll check out how much power we're actually producing. 
And then we're going to add in our battery backup and fence this area in. And that'll really kind of complete this and make this a finished area. So in the meantime, let's see. I never see solar farm with grass. It's kind of weird to me. I think it's all what grows in the area. I mean, it, it's in my area. I mean, we have so much water uh, that it doesn't take much to grow grass here. <laughs> so it's it's prairie, you know, so um, in, in an area with prairie. That said, Clearwater County is actually much further north than where I am right now. So it's really a forested area. That's been one of the interesting things that I thought about more and more. Um, I don't know how many farms there would, would be this far north. I mean, there's some for certain, but I think that things like this would be a good use of some of that rural land as well. Uh, let's see. I love democracy, says Lord Cursed. Yes, it's it, it certainly makes for an interesting build, in my opinion. Uh, grass. I'm sorry, Scooty. That, that <laughs> the people have spoken and they, they have chosen the gravel. And truthfully, I don't think it's a bad choice. I, I like it. I like it. Uh, Jessica, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, gravel is the right call. Let's see. Gravel with nature reserve paths in between solar banks. Gives lights on the paths. That, no, oh, I like that. That is a great idea. We're going to do that. We'll add in some paths. I was going to add some around the outside. So that's why here where I'm kind of spilling over a little bit, I'm not overly concerned about that, but we will add those in between as well to get those lights. And truthfully, I don't even know. Maybe it's not. The, I wonder if we can add in lights to our normal gravel paths, because that would be my absolute preference so we're gonna give that a go let's let's see we we have we can come through here let's look at our lights oh my goodness it just takes it away the option is gone interesting so no we cannot add lights to this one thing that we could do i wonder so i have this i could set our normal pavement path to gravel do we have lights through here now that that could do the trick we'll set this tonight and see if that works it does not maybe part of that is that we're missing lights here and I wonder maybe an industry light Ooh, I like that I like that a lot I'm gonna need to remember to convert this back but for back here, oh, that is that is perfect. So let's turn off our road guidelines. We have our grid on and our angle. That's good enough. We'll send this all the way around. Oh, that is great. Great idea, guys. I really, really like this. This is something different from the video I recorded, and I think this is an excellent change. So the reason why I want to go with this is when we place our battery, uh, our batteries, it's going to uh, have a little gravel pad around it. So I think this is going to look really good. Uh, let's see. Use dirt roads, please. Oh, wow. I am. I'm. Uh, what version of network network skins am I using? Uh, I do not know. We can check it out. Denny, thank you. So uh, Philip, Denny, thank you so much for the uh, for the super chat. Always checked newly added net lights at night. Oh, yes, absolutely. It's the it's the only way to do things. And that's one of the reasons I really like this play it mod. All right. Network. Uh, where is it? Where am I missing? it? I'm missing it. I am not seeing it. It's one of those things where it, sh it should be right in order. Where is it? <laughs> um. Well, whatever I have, it's the most recent version. I know that some folks will back up their mods. I probably should, but I'm, I'm foolish like that. I do not back up my mods generally, and I am going with whatever is in the workshop. And that because of that, I am very reluctant to use some of the experimental mods that are out there. So 
there are folks who are who will swear by them until it's out of beta with the exception of the 81 tiles mod you won't catch me using it for the most part okay we got to get rid of this panel right here it's in the way so we will send our path in here we'll have to undo some of our gravel but look at that that oh that looks really good really really good Let's see. Cranky Kyle, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Um, we're going to send this back. I want this to go all the way to the road here. We're going to have two accesses. Right now, this is a cul-de-sac. Probably not a huge deal if this were a small, uh, teeny tiny solar farm. But this thing is massive. And the amount of power that we're generating here is going to be astronomical. So I do not want this to be a cul-de-sac. Imagine if there were a fire. Holy cow. This is interesting. Oh, it's clipping to the road a little bit. That is interesting. So we're going to come through single. I think I can clean this up. Yeah, there we go. And this is really finicky stuff. Not something you have to do, but if you just want that little bit of extra whatever, <laughs> this is a way to accomplish it. And then we'll come through and... Get some nice fine details through there. All right, let's copy the rest of these. I'm gonna look at contours again. And we're not gonna go up the hill. So this will be a little asymmetrical and that's completely fine. We'll grab these again, control C, send this right back and then back and move it. Select a couple more of these. Control C again and there we go. There we go. That is going to do the trick, and we're going to send our road back here. I think we'll connect right here. Now, actually, we'll send the road right here, and we'll delete it and clean it up. And that should do the trick for us. Oh yeah, that that, that I'm, I'm really in, I'm really liking that. All right, so now we have a general outline for our solar farm. We've just got to finish up the rest of our pads, and then we're going to add in our battery packs and fencing. As soon as I'm done adding in this gravel, though, I want to focus just a bit on our actual production, and we're going to see what this has done. So I'm just going to add this through. Let's see, missed the spot, right middle, middle corner. Right middle corner. I'll have to take a look. I'm not quite sure what I missed. Uh, let's see, Comrade Kenny, have you tried workers, uh, workers and resources? I have. Um, so I have, I have a couple of reasons why I haven't played it on the channel. The main one is I just I'm not that good at it. Uh, the second one is I spoken with Lee Hawkins, who said that it just absolutely dominates his time from time to time. <laughs> and, uh, Civ is already that game for me. If you ever see that I'm playing Civ. Uh, I'm probably down a rabbit hole I shouldn't be down. So <laughs> I'm afraid that it could become that for me. So maybe in the future, I wouldn't ever say no to it. Uh, the other thing is, I mean, it, it's just really complicated. And I'm not sure um, necessarily how how many people would want to watch it. So down the line, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out. But for the time being, it's probably not something I'll be playing on the channel anytime soon. I do want to play a couple of other games on here, though. I've been giving keys to a couple, and maybe I should just leave it to a poll in the community tab because, you know, I, I get these keys and I never know what to do with them. So I end up just having a whole bunch of games in my Steam library that I just don't even start because I don't have time. So um, one of them is the Floodlands. I just received a key for that, and that could be a fun one to play. Um, let me think. Uh, Founders Frontier. I mean, I definitely got a key to that as well. Timberborn. I wanted to bring back Timberborn, and with the new update, all of my, my all of my cities broke, so I'd have to start over. So I'm not exactly sure what what I want to do with Timberborn. I do want to do something though. I've heard that the the version two update is really really good, so I want to play. I, and I haven't I haven't even played personally since then. Miles, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for City Skylines videos and sharing your passion with the world. Well, thank you for being here to watch them with me. Uh, Civ, please. Yeah, I would... Yeah, Civ. My fear is that if I play Civ on this channel, this channel is going to become a Civ channel. Because <laughs> I get so sucked in. Uh, that said, 
the way to resolve that is for me to play Civ 6. And since I don't really like it, I would probably get bored with it quickly and move right back to City Skylines. <laughs> uh, I would like to play a little bit more, though. Do I like Anno? I've never played Anno. Uh, I have a I have Manor Lords. I haven't played it yet. Bring back Timberborn. I, well, how about this? I will, uh, around the holidays, I'm going to have a little bit of extra time to do some things. And I will, I will promise to, in the community tab, leave a poll. So keep an eye out for it. The poll will ask about a mini series uh, for a different game. And I will see what you guys actually want to, what, what, you, what you guys want to see me play. And uh, that could be Tropico, it could be Civ. Um, Civ 5. Oh, the clarification. Um, it's Civ 5 is, yeah. Uh, that's, that's my favorite version. Um, I will ask what you guys want. William says, add in tall grass. So I think that that's what the, uh, maybe around the outside we'll add in some tall grass around the fence. Uh, for the time being, I'm, I'm digging this. Let's check out our power production. Oh, oh, no, no hold on, hold on. We're going to steal one of these. <laughs> and we're going to add this right here. You see me going through, I'm going through my, my, uh, my old build, thinking about what I did. So we have this here mainly for the power connection to our main power grid. I know this isn't necessary, but it makes me feel good. And uh, because of that, we're going to do it. Cranky Kyle, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Phil, I've been watching Clearwater County's videos since episode one, and I've loved every bit of it. I have a suggestion. Since it's almost winter, add some DOT public works facilities around the map and off the highways and in the, in the, in the, in the industrial plazas. That is a great point. We are going to need to winterize the map, so we will absolutely take advantage of that idea at that point in time. Heavy Arms says, wait, 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 you play Civ. Please do some Civ. I love Civ. Which ones do you like? Do you use mods? Please do some. I don't just play Civ. I actually tested Civ 6 or Civ 6, Civ 5 and Civ Rev. Um, and I played a colonization. I mean, I was in the testing team for that as well. Um, the very best job I've ever had. It was not a, being a planner. It was testing Civ. I, I, I love planning, but getting paid to go in to take two and test games like that with a bunch of your buddies and having beer Fridays every now and then they bring, they brought in a, a tub of beer and they would just set it down uh, next to all of our cubes. And it's, it's you just maxing it out, trying to break the game while you're playing and having fun. And I got to play some of those games at the very end when they were just in great shape and to be able to just sit and play. Oh man. It's, it's, I mean, I didn't make any money. <laughs> I made $10 an hour as a contracted employee. And I was living in Los Angeles. And granted, this is years ago, but that was still terrible then. I was, I was in poverty, basically. But I got to play games all day. And that made it worthwhile. And I was going to planning school. So, you know, it, 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 uh, it all worked out. All right. Holy cow. We've got some energy production now. 1,821 megawatts. We have plenty of overhead. We can decommission our power plants now. So we're going to turn these off. I'm not deleting these for a very specific reason. This is another question that I asked in the video that is not ever going to be released. And that is with these power plants, we could go into Rico and repurpose them as a commercial building or something like that. Uh, was that something that you th you'd like to see? And if so, what kind of what, what kind of building should it be? I think for the time being, it could be a general industrial building right, right here. Over here, I think we have more flexibility. This is a highly visible location and it could be really interesting to see this redeveloped into something else. So, uh, Ilyin, I, I apologize if I pronounced it incorrectly. Make a second channel for Civ. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I should uh, make a make a second channel. <laughs> I've done that and I put one video on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'd love to see me take. Uh, you'd like to see me take on RimWorld. I've never played RimWorld. I probably should. Probably should. Uh, Settlement Survival is a decent game, but it's in extremely micromanagey. Uh, and a PC resource hog. My PC is pretty powerful. I'm probably fine there. Uh, but yeah, that that micromanagement aspect of it 
can be fun on a stream. I don't know if it's super fun making videos. And uh, that's the other thing that I'm always thinking about when I'm when I'm releasing content. I want to make sure that it's going to be something that you actually want to see. So you can watch me just tweak things back and forth and, and be totally bored. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Keep the power plants, uh, says Jessica. Germany is all left because of the decommissioned and a bunch of coal plants. Now they can't get power due to shortages. Nice fail safe. That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, have I watched the Weird Al movie? I have not. I have not. What is the most recent? I've just been watching TV. Um, you know, House of the Dragon. I, I, I've watched that. The next thing I'm going to watch is probably the final season of The Crown. I'm really bummed that Westworld season five was canceled. I know I'm like one of four people that watched it, but I thought it was great. Um, but I, I'm really more of a TV guy than a than a movie guy. Uh, much to the chagrin of my wife. I think that she would love it if I were more into movies. Let's see, Asher fills a civilization planner now. <laughs> yeah, Surviving Mars. I have Surviving Mars. I've never played it. Uh, let's see, Ash to the B says, I think most industries turn into office. That would be, that's a, that's a good point. That could be offices. Dwarf Fortresses is better than RimWorld. Never played that. Uh, make the coal plants biofuel plants. So that's one thing that I can't do. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. I can't convert. So I wanted to initially make these into warehouses and we'll just, we'll take a mini detour. So if we go into our Rico settings and we add a local version, it gives you the ability to change the settings here. So you can change the service and it's easy to turn it into an industrial building or an office or a commercial building, an extractor building for like an industry or just a dummy building, which basically turns it into a prop and then you could add service blocks into it. I guess that's one way to get around all of that. Uh, you could say none and then you can have a sub, uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, oh, right into UI category. Maybe that is one way that you can do it. I think, I think this is really the main thing though. And I can't, you can't you can't turn it into a different type of uh, city service, so it can't be a warehouse either, which is kind of disappointing. So I'm going to remove this local for now. That'll be something we do down the line. Uh, Wyoming Cowboy, I work in finance for a small town. Thank you so much for the past few episodes showing us how the more uh, intricate utility systems are than in the game, how much more intricate they are than in the game. Thank you. Uh, yeah, honestly, this is one of those things that I, I don't know a ton about. And it's it's fun to research things and figure them out. So I'm glad that you've enjoyed this exploration with me. I know that the videos. Um, so as a creator on the back end, we see how well people like the videos and uh, with the editing. That's one of the things I've been able to monitor is how are people responding to the new uh, editing that I've been doing, the new storytelling. And it's funny with the newer videos every single video ends up being the best video I've released in the last 10, which is really flattering. And, and I'd say it's a great honor until I released the utility videos, which were the worst videos I <laughs> put on in a long time. But I don't really mind it because I will be honest and say that these have been some of the most fun videos that I've put out in a while for me personally. So Sometimes I'm doing things because I just really am excited to try them out myself. <laughs> this is one of those things I thought would be a lot of fun and no regrets. It's been a blast. So we're going to come through here and I'm just adding these at the end of each of these rows. Um, Austria, thank you so much for the super chat. Good luck. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and I'm seeing I'm a fantastic editor. I don't, you know, it's funny. I, I appreciate that comment because a year and a half ago, I didn't know how to use Final Cut. I've been teaching myself. I feel very confident in my ability to use Final Cut now. Um, next year, I'd like to learn how to use motion more. That that would be a goal of mine is to is to become an excellent motion user and then add some of those graphics in. I've also picked up an iPad uh, Pro and I use that for one video to, to highlight some overlays and I wasn't pleased with how it turned out so I haven't done it since but that is something that I'm going to be bringing back eventually we're going to be certainly I I'd like to be able to I, I want to be able to demonstrate what I'm going to do before I do it so that I can show you the plan because I'm coming up with plans 
And sometimes I'm illustrating it on paper. Sometimes I'm just thinking about it in my head. Um, but it's not just me showing up and playing for a while. I used to do that, but that's not the way I do it anymore. Vey, thank you so much. 11 months. I appreciate that. Uh, the Cold Power Plant would be a great nightclub rave. That's actually a really good idea. I like that. <laughs> oh, and we've got some spam. Thank you so much for the spam. We're going to try to get go away. Go away. I wonder if I just report that. There we go. I, I could be a moderator too a little bit. <laughs> uh, DZ asked if I had if I used the Apple Pencil. Yeah, I did. I used the Apple Pencil for that. So uh, when you saw the writing, it was actually my handwriting. <laughs> so uh, the iPad Pro is it's really it's really an amazing tool. Um, and I, as much as I love planning and video games, my my other passion is technology, and being able to use some of this, uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, have I ever tried Skillshare? Uh, I, I have. I have a Skillshare membership. I have used it for a variety of things. Uh, and one of those things is actually that video that I that I created. I, I used a Skillshare course to learn how to use Procreate to, to put that graphic together. Um, very rudimentary in, in, in my abilities right now. But as time allows, I, I've got some really cool ideas and I really want to do it. Really want to do it. Uh, Walt says the utility videos are your favorite. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yes. And men says get out of here spam. Yes, please. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that spam. Uh, so on these ones that are terrorists, there's not a great place for the battery backup. So instead of adding them up and down each row, we're just going to have some larger batteries off to the side. And these are nice assets. So we'll just place a couple of these right in a row. I don't know if that's reasonable, but it feels good to me. So we'll go with it. And we'll drop these down just a bit. I don't finish any tea. Thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I really appreciate that. And then we'll, we'll need some more larger ba battery backups over here as well. Just maybe one for this facility. And we'll add that. We'll add that right here. There we go. Feeling good about that. The one thing I know about these smaller battery backups is that they sometimes float. So we're just going to do a little bit of a visual inspection to see if we've got any floating assets. You know what? We're looking. We're looking good. Feeling good. And so this asset, the solar panels, I just love this. Such an amazing looking asset. Even when you zoom out, the load is great. This is an asset that I think could be in the game if... if uh, if Paradox and Colossal Order really wanted it. It's that it's that good. It's that good. Uh, let's see. Dude, bro, homeboy. Thank you so much for the super chat. I love your channel. It brings back memories of my time in Wisconsin. Ice fishing in the UP, Summerfest, Lambo, and Spotted Cow especially. I, I appreciate that. And thank you for the support. Yeah, I mean, that's that's uh, that's that's Wisconsin to a T right there. I actually had an ice fishing, ice fishing class in high school, which I think tells you a little bit about how far up north I lived. It was a winter winter gym class, and uh, you know, it is. It's very cold up north, <laughs> so you uh, you have to make you have to really take advantage of the winter weather because you're stuck with it for a long time. It's amazing how much nicer the weather is in southern Wisconsin. Truthfully, uh, yeah, it's very shiny, very shiny. Batch is in here, and I see LaShawn Jefferson too. I think it looks strange when grown men are scared of shots and needles. Very weird. I, you know, I, for me, I don't say that I'm afraid of needles, but I certainly don't like it. And to try to demonstrate to my kids that it's not that bad, I looked right at it today. I like that. Didn't like that one bit. Didn't, no, never doing that again. <laughs> and we got home and I actually said that that was the uh, least fun shot experience I think I've ever had because I had to look at it. <laughs> so we're not going to do that again. Uh, utilities are something that so many games treat like an afterthought, but seeing you use modders assets to make uh, thought out facilities is fantastic. Thank you so much, Silver. Thank you for the support. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun doing this. And so just a quick demonstration of why this is, is valuable. So if we were to look at the solar power plant, 
<laughs> Look at that size. So this would produce 160 megawatts. Now granted, this is producing 10 times that, uh, but it's just, this just looks so much better. So much better. All right, we need to we need to fence this area off. We've got two entryways in now, and we're gonna do something about that. And I, it's funny. I found an uh, a vanilla prop that I wish I would have used for some of the other utility buildings. And in fact, I think we're going to at some point. And that is this chain link fence gate. Got to take our brush size down to one. But uh, to me, this just makes a ton of sense. And look at it. It's, it's it doesn't like what's going on. I've got to turn on my tree and prop. Is that, I thought that was just, oh, it's tree and prop anarchy. Okay. So now we can place this over the road here. And we'll do the exact same thing over here. And Aiden, Aiden Cook, thank you so much for the support. You just got your new CPP mug and I enjoy, uh, enjoy my afternoon coffee while watching the stream thank you so much for clearwater county and nicolay bay great inspirations for my city thank you so much thank you for so much for the support with the mug thank you for this support thank you for being here i really appreciate it i actually i have a cup of coffee right now it's almost done uh, i thought about using my city planner plays mug uh, which is available in the store if you have any interest you don't have to don't don't feel like you have to support at all being here is good enough uh but I ended up going with my Pawnee, Indiana mug instead from Parks and Rec. I, I love it. It's the biggest mug I have. And for a stream, being able to just come through and grab the biggest cup of coffee I can, it it's it's absolutely awesome. Ken, thank you so much for the super chat. I just found your channel and I enjoy it. I enjoy that you're here and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. 36-year-old uh, man just listening to you talk about uh, looking at... Edit while you got a shot, made me want to pass on it. Uh, yeah, I'm 36, so uh, I, I feel the exact same way. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We're going to get some chain link fences in here. And we have a network version of this fence that I believe we've used a little bit. But I'm going to stick with just this 8 meter fence. We've got the 8 meter and the 16. It's terrain conforming and it's a vanilla asset. And if you have the prop line tool, another ad, another mod that I would definitely include is one of the most essential. You can come through and it looks like this. That looks terrible, but watch this. We can fix that. We click on this show and hide panel option. And I believe, first of all, it's it has the wrong asset selected. So that would be a problem. If you have this option selected, the, chain, the, the, the fence just slides along and it looks a ton better. So that's what we're going to do. The spacing is perfect. We're just going to follow along. And the nice thing about this is chain link fences are very inexpensive. So if this needs to change, okay, 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 before, <laughs> before each other, they're expensive, inexpensive relative to other fences. So uh, I think if you're going to add these, it's totally fine. You can always take them down later and replace them. Anthony, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate the support. We're going to just continue to add this down. Now, this is going to be the tricky part, getting these to line up nicely. And then through here, I think, I think we're going to just send this down. Now, we'll follow this. I don't love the way that this looks, so we'll go just a little ways down, and then I'm just going to eyeball this. Sometimes that's the best you can do. And we'll send this down here and go around. Looking good. Let's see. Jade, thank you so much for being here. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream, and I'm glad that you're here as well. Uh... The flowism, love your content, keep up the great work. Thank you so much for the support and thank you for the kind words. It means a ton to me. Uh, and I, I I know I say that a lot, but it really does. Um, I I do look at a lot of the comments, even the comments that I'm not re replying to. Obviously in a stream, it's a little bit harder. I'm trying my best. <laughs> but uh, when I see those comments, it, it, does, it does mean a lot. So here we are. Oh, oh, I don't love what I've done here. So we're going to pull this back a little ways. And send this right in here. Meet up 
and oh, looking good. We'll clean this up a little bit, move it for this last one. And we'll have to actually hold out alt for this because I have the clipping on, but there we go. Robert McAllister, thank you so much. I love coming to these live streams and love the interconnected stories between your cities. Missed seeing the city. I know the update caused some issues. Yeah. And the other thing is uh, with these utility episodes, it's just been a lot of uh, a lot of learning for me. And I've wanted to make sure that I'm, I'm getting it right. So uh, when that's one of the reasons it's nice to have the other builds as well. Uh, so I, I already know what I'm doing in Nicolay Bay for like the next 10 episodes. And I don't really need to research anything. For this build, I'm at a point where I, I'm researching a ton. And, uh, you know, even the next Verde Beach, because of the size of the city, sometimes I feel like I need to do a little bit of research and really give it some thought, experiment a lot. Uh, so that's the fun part of having a new city is you're kind of in that, in that uh, early honeymoon stage with the city. Oh, yeah. Feeling good about this. The one thing I'm not feeling good about is I think we need to get some trees around here. I don't have a brush set up still for this. So the only brush I have is the Ashland brush. I think this is the last episode, the last playthrough where this is not winter. So I'm not going to build that brush right now. We're just going to steal some forest here, copy this, make sure anarchy is off and place this around here. And then afterwards, we're going to clean this up. So we'll add in some nice forests and I'll just try to alternate before between my clicking. Oh, and let's get anarchy off and just send this through here. And then at the end, what we're going to do is back the trees up a little bit so that they are not casting shadows. I think we need to check that out and make sure that we're not having some unintended consequences, consequences there. Okay. Nice dense forest through there. I like that. I like that. So now we're going to go into our forestry brush simply so that we can back this out and I want to change the time of day and not monitor it. We don't want that. So let's look at our shadows and see where they're casting. So right here, you can see that we've got to eliminate some of the trees along here. No shadows, no shadows. And I appreciate you guys being here for this kind of thing. Uh, so I was in the Discord late last night, and one of the comments was that uh, that I that I that I received from someone is that I should start using procedural objects. I'm afraid that I'd become a basket case with it, <laughs> and that would become I, I I'd end up doing so much in procedural objects that uh, it wouldn't be fun <laughs> for anybody, myself included. Uh, how about the next city is European Asian? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, one of the things that there are some builders that are able to just easily switch styles and build a city that they're not familiar with. If I were to do anything, it would probably be something that I've seen and I haven't been all that many places in Europe and no place in Asia, although I would like to get to both. Um, so if I were to do that, it would likely be one of the slowest series I've ever put together. And I would want to, I'd probably take less feedback, which I also don't love doing. And, um, yeah, so we'll see. I, I, I'm not ruling it out, but I definitely think it's easier to, to build what you're familiar with. Uh, do I support solar? Yes, I have solar panels on my house. <laughs> so I absolutely support solar. I think it's a, a... If you have the ability to create clean energy, you should. Here we're getting rid of more of those trees. And it's funny, I added all these in, but we're going to end up clearing half of them out. That should be good enough, though. So now we have... For the most part, very few shadows casting. And let's check this out at night. I did miss a couple of paths through here. So we're going to add those in as well. So here we go. And I'm going to turn this to be the lightest it can be with the lights on, which is probably about right here. And then I'll send these through. All right, and while I'm doing this, hey guys, so tired. I've been splitting wood since 9 a.m. Oh my goodness. I don't know what time it is for you right now. Elevators of New England. Oh, New England. It's an hour later than me. Uh, so I used to split wood. So my grandpa lived out in the middle of nowhere and I would split wood with him. And my dad, we had a, a wood-burning 
stove at our house and I would split wood growing up and oh, that is backbreaking work. <laughs> so good on you for doing it. So we could certainly add some lights through here. I might do that off off camera. I might think about, I don't know. Maybe I should just do it now. <laughs> uh, well, I'll leave it in a poll. Let's see. A heavy arms. Thank you so much for the support again. Uh, what about doing a more science fiction or fantasy focused build sometime? Usually so much focus on realism. That one I probably won't, if I'm being completely honest with you. I think that I would struggle with that. Uh, so it's uh, part of it staying in my lane, knowing what I'm good at. Uh, maybe though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule out, instead of fantasy, I wouldn't rule out saying a, a futuristic utopia. That is something I probably will take on in the future. Something that's a little bit more idealistic. Um, yeah. Richard asks how much uh, US planning is different from U UK and European planning. I was funny, I was talking with someone in the comments about this. And I, when I was creating the, the UK video, I thought it would be really easy to find a land use plan that I could just overlay on top of the uh, on top of the, the build area. So Exy made the map absolutely stunning, thought I could just overlay that. And I actually could not. Planner Duck, five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate that. And remember, if you want to have an opportunity to get that, make sure that you have uh, gifted memberships gifts enabled. Oh, and I see that. I see we've got a couple of familiar faces in there. I see Thick Phoenix and Batch both got them. Awesome. Awesome. And so what... I'll take a little bit of a detour. Uh, if you just got a gifted membership, I post videos early on, on uh, uh, Vimeo. And there is a link in the community tab to this month's folder. Definitely check it out. There's nothing in there right now, uh, but there will be things coming up very soon. So definitely check it out. There's also a link to all of my save files. Every last one of my save files is in a Google Drive and you're able to load them up and check them out. I put them in there as soon as I'm done recording. So uh, definitely something I like to do. Planner Duck again, holy cow. Thank you again for the gifted memberships. Uh, Nick Tall, thank you so much for the super chat. One of the path segments between one fifth is short. Oh, ooh, good, good catch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for catching that. And I wonder if we could just run some of these along the side here. Yeah, that might do the trick too. Instead of getting all crazy worrying about adding in lights, I'll just come along the side here with anarchy on and maybe do a little bit, little, little something like that in a couple of locations. That'll do the trick. I think that'll be fine. And at least this way we're keeping the same light spacing. It's not the cleanest way of handling it, but I think it'll be, fo it'll be okay. Let's see. Planner Duck is the goat. I agree. I agree. Uh, let's all, if you just got, if you just got access to all of the new stickers, please give Planner Duck a real MVP and uh, give them, uh, give them your favorite emoji if you don't have access to these. So let's, uh, let's drop a couple of these in here. DJ Evo, thank you so much for becoming associate planner. I appreciate that. And uh, this is the one time. Let, let's let's drop a whole bunch of emojis in chat. Let's do it. I'm I'm joining you. Here we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have I tried the ride transport assets? I have not. Uh, but I did catch. That's one of Biffa's videos that I did watch. And uh, they, they they do look very nice. They do look very nice. Let's see. Holy cow! There we go. Oh, the duck. That is perfect. Duck the American flag. All right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I've got to add some more. So first of all, there are a couple of you that have already maxed out the maximum sticker levels uh, that I have available. I'm going to be adding more stickers and I'm going to be adding on additional uh, levels for membership as well. So I think that'll be a fun thing to do. And I saw S Cities by Diana. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thoughts on the new DLCs? Great build as always. Uh, I am super excited about the Skyscrapers uh, content creator pack. Uh, that's the thing. So Verde Beach. How do you build a unique Verde Beach? You just you just can't. Not right now. You have the same couple of Skyscrapers, the couple of Art Deco Skyscrapers, the Transport Tower, all those things. But, but 
Now, if you're on a console or if you are playing a vanilla build on the, on the PC, let's say you have the Epic Store version of the game uh, and you decide to pick up this content creator pack. Wow, like you have some variety there. You get some new, uh, <laughs> sorry, that, that seeing all of these come through is just cracking me up. Uh, now you can actually create a unique skyline. So I'm really excited about that. Let's see. Yes, Duck is a legend. What, do you, what, which, uh, what are you guys looking forward to the most? Drop in the chat which of the new content creator packs or DLCs you're looking forward to the most. And I'm going to take a little drink of coffee. Ice cold. <laughs> yeah, Korea will be neat too. So I, I think that uh, in Verde Beach, we built, uh, there's a Buddhist temple and a kind of a little, it's kind of a non-specific Asian district. And I want to make that. It's, we use some of the, uh, the, the, the Japanese content creator pack assets. And I think that being able to create a true K-Town is going to be really cool. And um, we're going to have that opportunity, which is super cool. Uh, there are there's one DLC that's been announced, and that was uh, it's kind of a, I think it's a mini financial districts DLC. And then uh, there's a bunch of content creator packs that were announced, new radio stations. And um, I mean, the content creator packs, I just I love them. They're they're absolutely I mean, the, the, the fact that that's something that Paradox is open to. It's awesome. And let's see, Junkyard Fox, thank you for becoming associate planner. Let's see, Mulligan asks if we can get a planner duck and Vay Street. I think that we can do that. Where, which which community should we should we add them into? Which community? Uh, what do I think about the financial districts? I'm really excited about the financial districts. I'm dubious on the mechanic. Uh, we'll have to see how it works. Um, but uh, I think my main thought is I'm I'm hoping it's not like the like the mechanic that comes with concerts where it's kind of surface level. Um, we'll have to we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, let's see the African content creator pack when that comes up next year. Yeah, I'm I, I think it's amazing that these these new content creator packs are focused on specific parts of the world. If I weren't living in the U.S. and everything didn't look familiar to me in these games, I think it'd be really a, it'd be a huge bummer. Uh, and the ability to have that with some of these new content creator packs and localized builds, I think is amazing. Let's see. I should do some Canadian builds. Love you from Canada. Thank you so much. I mean, this is this is pretty close to Canada. <laughs> so is Nicolet Bay. Uh, there is, and I'm trying to think of his name. There was a creator that I used to watch. I don't know if he's still making videos. Um, Urban Architect, maybe? Very detailed Canadian builds. And let me see if I can find a link to the channel. And I saw a request for street level views. Why don't we come through here? We'll go by our reflecting pool and we'll come in. And I'm going to get rid of the sound effects for now, just so that you guys don't go crazy. So if you're wondering why you're not hearing the sound of the trams, that's why. Uh, I'm going to look for Urban Architects channel. And if I can find it, I will drop a link. Hopefully they don't blast some sound. <laughs> uh, Urban Architect City Skylines. And I'm on a different computer for this part. And you know what? I'm not even finding it. So I'll have to look. But if I find that, I'll drop it in. I have to leave a pinned comment. And I will I will definitely drop that in here. And if we are friends on Discord too, that would be the other place. I wonder. Let me see. I'm going to search my Discord friend list and see if I can find his channel by finding him. Now, we haven't, we haven't spoken in a long time. And it's funny, when, I, when when the channel really started to take off, I was featuring some smaller channels to shout them out. And this is one that I wanted to, and I never got around to it, and I really should have. And I found him, and 
His Discord server is now... Looks like it's gone. And I don't see his channel. Bummer. So, Bean12 is his handle on Discord. If we, if you are here by some stroke of luck, you should drop your channel name. The Urban, uh, the urban Architect is an awesome, he stopped posting videos. Yes, yeah, he was very good. So that's, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I guess I, I can't find a link to his channel, but uh, if I can, I loved the vibes and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. So I'm searching and you know what I'm coming up with? I'm coming up with my channel and Cities by Diana. <laughs> so that's as, as uh, and also Gaseous Stranger, which I, all great channels, um, but not the one I'm looking for right now. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll come back over here. Uh, is that a load of abandoned buildings? It is. So we're going to have to reset all of these. And I think that that's one of the last things I want to do is kind of just go through here while we're chatting and, and reset these. If, if anyone did, he, did he retire? So I know, I believe he was a college student, so he could just be, I mean, that's kind of like Prez. Uh, I know Prez was in college and I've been curious cause he kind of disappeared too. My guess is just, you know, college is hard. I, ca I can't imagine being a content creator in college. It's, it's tough for me as an adult with a job and kids, but I have the ability to kind of carve out time and I know what's happening with my, with my schedule in college. Things were just kind of a mess all the time. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm a procrastinator which is one of the reasons if you've ever wondered why I schedule out my videos and I make it very specific. The reason why I do that is simply because I'm a procrastinator. And if I don't do that, I will not ever release a video again. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. I've missed a few super chats and let's see, uh, Matt, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner and Corey, thank you for becoming an associate planner. Oh, Sean has the urban architects link. I don't see it. I don't see it. If yeah, Fluxtrance was great, absolutely talented. Uh, do I know Sam Burr? I do not. I do not know Sam Burr. So it's funny. Our channels only had a brief overlap in terms of his activity. So, oh, there we go. There's Gaseous Stranger. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I watched his videos back in the day. Um, I mean, I used to watch if his videos often and I, you know, think, you know, so I, I, I just think of it this way. I'm just like you guys. So I used to watch content and then one day I decided I'd give it a shot making it and not even because I wanted to be a content creator, just because I wanted to learn how to edit videos. So, um, but being a content creator is awesome. I love it. And I'm going to keep doing it for as long as you guys will keep watching. Where did flux trance go? I don't know. There was, a, I think one of the last videos addressed it a little bit. And it might just be kind of a burnout thing. Um, Sam Burr, I have no idea there either. It could be. It could be a burnout thing though. And that's, I mean, that's that's a very real thing. Like as a content creator, oh, we've got some, <laughs> got some things. We're just gonna reset that. Nothing to see here, friends. We're good. We're good. Um, let's see, trees, with the buildings left of the camp, capital. Trees through the buildings left of the capital. Let's see. Let's make this daytime so I can see what you guys are talking about. I know that some of these buildings actually have trees growing in them and on them. So that might be what you're thinking of right here. That's actually part of the asset. It's kind of neat. Uh, you know, green roof. Interesting concept. So, uh, let's see. Few Candy. Yeah, definitely check out Few Candy. She's good. Uh, Imperial Jedi is great. Uh, and Lee, yeah, I. My favorite City Skylines content creator is Lee Hawkins. I don't. I, I think that that's pretty. I mean, I, I think everyone knows that. Zardis is good too. And another guy who's, who's not too far from me. Zardis and I, we, we, we live so close, we could meet up for coffee in probably an hour. Um, 
hour and a half, but let's be realistic. <laughs> Christopher, thank you so much for the super chat. Have you considered doing underground pedestrian paths rather than the ugly uh, spinning over highway bridges in Verde Beach and Clearwater County? Not so much, mainly because I just, I don't think they're super realistic. Um, a lot of times with those, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, um, they're very, uh, they could be very uncomfortable for certain users of those paths. So they're, they're, you know, they're ugly and they can be ugly, but I, in my area anyway, we have them all over the place. Um, some of them are just completely over-engineered. Some of them are fine. <laughs> uh, this asset has been driving me crazy. We're going to need to add some new parking lots soon. This one breaks randomly. And then the other asset that I have for parking lots down here is actually from Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Banana Man, thank you so much for adding those links. So yeah, Lee, I don't know that he's released a video in a little while, but even his back catalog, More Money, Less Traffic, just some of the best tutorial videos. And he has a really insightful way of, of um, addressing different topics in the game, relating it back to the real world. And uh, I just think that he's a gifted storyteller uh, in, in the way that he presents things. So... Uh, Yumble, absolutely. Yumble is one of my favorites too. I, uh, the thing I like about Yumble is when he's presenting something, he can present literally anything and make it interesting and very clear. And his, the way that he is able to do that and keep it engaging at the same time, uh, there are certain creators that, you know, I think you look up to and it, as a, as a content creator. And if there are any that I look up to, it's uh, Lee Hawkins, obviously, is one of them. And Yumble's another one. His, the clarity of his videos, the, the, the laid back nature, it just resonates with me. It just it's very, very clear. And uh, the thing I like about both of them is that they're just unapologetically themselves. And that is something that uh, is, is, you know, it's 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 really that's what I gravitate towards in creators, creators that are just doing their own thing. Uh, Weedy Waffle, underrated city city's YouTuber. I agree, I agree. Gash is stranger too. I mean, I mentioned that uh, overcharged egg obviously is wonderful. Um, the things he's doing in, in uh, Ilos are absolutely amazing. Uh, German city skylines guy. Are you talking about Imperator? Imperator is absolutely a genius, an artist in the game. Uh, then just hilarious. Love it. Um, $2.20. Uh, $2.20 is another one of my favorites. Uh, I, his builds are absolutely aesthetic. Absolutely amazing. Um, one of my favorites. Obviously, I mean, everyone loves Biffa. Um, so don't need to, don't need to go there. <laughs> but the thing about $2.20 is as someone who is now editing a lot of videos, I can just see the amount of effort and detail that he, he puts into his videos and his creativity and the, the fact that he's just creating things that matter to him. I really like that. You know, when he came out with Sunset City and he just, he was just very, very real about it. He said, this, I'm, I'm, this is good. This is inspired by Grand Theft Auto because I like it. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Frank, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm a Dutch living in Chicago and I often catch myself asking, why do Americans build things the way they do? You answer some of those questions, making it tolerable for me to live here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I think you're going to like, I've got some things to say about Chicago and I'm going to be talking about it in future videos. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Favorite YouTubers. CPP Biffa Few Candy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you sent me an Urban Architect link in Discord. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me see. There it is. There it is. All right. I'm going to drop this in here. So Urban Architect, the last video on the channel is from a year ago. But it straight up says City Skylines Canada. And the builds are awesome. Good music selections, uh, talented time lapser, just just very very good. So, uh, Frederick, not many of these creators I don't watch. <laughs> uh, Zach Daily Games, I have no idea who that is. I'll have to, I'll have to look. Uh, 
Gotta say, I love the special episode Lee did. I did too. And you know, I wanted to add that to the Verde Beach playlist. It won't let me. I don't know why. And it's really frustrating to me. So I will have to, I still have to find a way to get a reference over between the two. It blocks me from doing it. Uh, I should do reviews of real cities uh, and explain the, why they're built the way they are. I thought about that. I mean, that's more of a city planner explains sort of deal. If I do that. Um, you know, that's been the other thing too. There are a lot of urbanist channels. And if I create a dedicated urban planning channel, I want there to be a reason for it to exist. Um, I want there to be something different about the channel. I don't want to just rehash the things that are already out there that have already been said by someone else and present them in a slightly different way. Even if it's in my voice and it's a little bit different, I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing is unique. And so that's been another reason why I've been reluctant to do more with that channel is I need to find what differentiates it. You know, uh, for some people it's, it's excellent editing. You see it a lot with these channels that, that have a, a heavy focus on maps is that they're just really good at editing. Um, ooh, my bit rate is lower than it recommended. Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. Um, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be a, a channel that is, is producing sub, sub uh, par quality content. That's, that's my main thing. All right. I think I've reset most of these. Oh, actually old Van Buren. We haven't reset there. So we'll go through here and reset this and see if we've got any issues here. We do. <laughs> so we're, we're totally fixing the city right now. And hopefully, holy cow. I'm going to fix these and then I want to look at our death care again to see if we finally resolve that. Our population, if you've been checking, has been going up. So I feel like we've made some progress there. Okay, 90 dead people in buildings. As silly as it sounds, that's manageable. <laughs> so we've only got 90 dead bodies in random buildings throughout the county. That's a heck of a lot better than hundreds. So we've got some trees in buildings too. So dead bodies and trees. That's what we do here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to reset the rest of these as well. And let's see. 9 p.m. in England. Good time. Skibith is good. And City Wall, City Walk is good as well. Uh, I, I also, I really liked, um, gosh, what is his name? I'm trying to think. He, he did all of the geometric builds. I can't think of his name right now. But uh, he's absolutely awesome. Oh, Kibitz is awesome. I love Kibitz. Uh, and the reason why, I mean, same thing with Real Civil Engineer. I've, 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 I've spoken with Real Civil Engineer in Discord. Just a, just a, a really nice guy. Uh, Kibitz is unapologetically who he is, too. Uh, you just you know what you're going to get. And it's going to be something that's going to be funny and lighthearted. And you know what? I just need that sometimes. I just need that. Commercial demand is down, causing abandonment. Commercial demand, this is actually the highest it's been in a long time, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. A chorus? Yeah, yeah, good too. Target, that's who I was thinking of. Yes, I really, really like Target. Um, but another creator that, you know, for whatever reason, isn't, isn't creating right now, and that's totally fine. Uh, Strycoaster is awesome. Loved it. Will CS. Yes, Will CS is an amazing creator. And, you know, Will cannot be here right now because it's Will's birthday. So if we could drop in, uh, either go to Will's most recent video after you're done with this and drop him a like, or drop a birthday cake in here. With that, actually, in the comments, not in the chat, but in the comments, if you could drop in happy birthday, Will. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, what video card setup are you rocking to run these extensively modded cities? I have a 3080 Ti and oh boy, if I told you what I'm doing for RAM right now, you might get, you might lose your mind. So <laughs> I'm fueling your sleeplessness. I'm sorry. Uh, so I have a build for my kids. I'm going to be setting up a dual PC setup so they can play Minecraft together on a PC using all the mods. So it just looks a lot better. And uh, I stole, because it's not set up yet, I stole the RAM out of one of the machines. 
And I wonder if I can just quickly show this. So let's see. I have a ridiculous amount of RAM right now. <laughs> I will tell you, it has not made the performance improvement that I would have hoped it would have. Um, so yeah, I stole the RAM out of the uh, out of the other computer and threw it in here just as a test to see what would happen. It's it's fine. So I have the 3080 th uh, uh, 3080X 3D uh, processor. It's great. Um, obviously a, a stupid amount of RAM and we're not even, we're not even using most of it. Um, so honestly, 64 is plenty enough. I just wanted to see the, the real test I want to do is I'm currently using a page file. So I'm going to disable the page file and play and see what that does to my load speeds. It's not really doing much right now. Um, this is taking me, I'm going to say six ish minutes to load into right now which is pretty, pretty slow compared to how it's been. And I think the primary reason, well, it's actually improved a little bit. I got rid of render it um, and render it was causing all sorts of problems in this build and in Nicolay Bay, lots of flickering. I'm trying to figure out the Nicolay Bay dark, crazy shadowing thing that uh, is, has been an issue. It's a problem with the yeah, do I, I need a I need a 4090. I I, need, I don't need my computer to light on fire. <laughs> when they figure that out, then maybe, maybe. Uh, you have 256 gigabytes of RAM. Holy cow! On your server at work. Wow. Uh, yeah, my page file is on an SSD. It's an M.2, so it's not. I mean, it's it's very fast. Uh, does this run Crisis slowly? <laughs> Uh, six minutes it takes hours for you. Yeah, if, it, that's the thing is if I were using more mods, it would probably take even longer. Thing is, I think it's like one or two assets that is causing the slowdown. And I want to know what that is. So it, it, I tried this. Does every city of Skylands uh, community have 64 gigs of RAM now? The prices are falling on on, on a DDR4. So yeah, I think a lot of people are, are when they if they can, it's the most impactful thing that you can do for city skylines. Uh, it just improves your load speeds a bit. Uh, try softer shadows mod in Nicolay Bay. I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that. There's a lot of compatibility issues. Is the game on an SSD? Yeah, my M.2s. Yeah. Uh, the 4090 runs pretty cool and serps electricity. Maybe that would cool me, my room down then because my, like my PC just gets ridiculous and I have a little tiny wooden office it's like a sauna it looks like a sauna when you walk in and it feels like one right now <laughs> so uh, it's pretty crazy wow hour and a half to load into the game uh, what are my favorite games outside of city skylines uh, NBA 2k is one of my favorite games uh, I really love Civ I mentioned that Tropico uh, I like simulators so uh, basically any simulator that you throw my way banished uh, I love that. Um, any simulators you throw them away, I love. Uh, my favorite game, though, is probably Stardew Valley. Probably Stardew Valley. Philip with two L's. You see, you see Philip. Oh, he's he's here. He's definitely here. Probably riding a bike. <laughs> Office tour. Uh, one of these days. If you take a look, I have. So to keep the ads interesting, I, I know ads are frustrating sometimes. And I see I see that people are like, I don't like that you do these ads. Uh, one of the reasons I, I do the ads are uh, in terms of a rev from a revenue standpoint, it's just pretty crazy how much more you make than by having ads and videos. Um, and then you get to control the ads that are on your content. But to keep it lively, I try to show a little bit of something that is interesting. And in one of the most recent ones, I did show my office. So it's uh, it's in there. It's in there. Uh, in my bedroom, I've burned up two video cards before. Ooh, Riley, I do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. Uh, please play Stardew. Maybe. So I've been actually playing a four-player Stardew Valley game with my entire family. It's one of the things that we do to kind of wind down. 
Uh, Dylan says, no episode today. This is the episode. <laughs> no episode today. We've actually accomplished everything that uh, I've done and wanted to do in the episode. So at this point, it's kind of just hanging out. As a recap for anyone who just hopped in here, uh, we built this lovely solar farm. I should probably save this because uh, that would be smart. Um, Maida, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the great content. By the way, wondering what are your thoughts on realistic population? Just want to start a new city and can't decide if I want to use it. So I think it's great. Uh, realistic population is what I've used in this build. You're going to need to build a lot of residential, uh, but it's definitely, it's definitely, it changes the way you build. And look at that abandonment all over here once again. And I believe that most of these are likely commercial. So we're going to need to convert some of this commercial to residential. That's going to be our solution here. Uh, farming Civ 22. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, the Raycon ad is the one I showed my office in. So yeah, yep. And uh, yeah, so that, that's that's certainly a thing. And the weird thing about being a creator too is um, like I, I feel bad when I clump all the all the uh, reset all buildings in Ashland. No, I have not done that. That's a good point. Why don't we reset the buildings over here? And I'll do that while I'm talking about the. So yeah, the the with the with the ads, I feel bad about it because I know I know that they 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 can be. Frustrating, and I, I know even with patron, I someone po posted at one point like, kind of feels like you're double dipping if you post patron content and then put an ad in there. That's really about rendering and upload speeds. Um, I try to make it a little less double dippy seeming. What I what I've been doing is if I put in a sponsorship into a video, I will try not to have ads through there. What frustrates me is when I'm watching a YouTube video and someone has a sponsorship segment. And then I skip it and I get an ad immediately after or I watch it and I get an ad immediately after <laughs> it's like that's two ads in a row and then I'll get, you know, two from YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. And that's the quickest way for me to want to leave a video. So I've been trying to to balance that a little bit. So hopefully I'm not doing too, too many. If I am, just let me know. And it's funny, as I say the word ads on the back end, YouTube says now's a great time to insert an ad. I haven't done that. I don't plan on doing that in a live stream. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate that. And Mehmet, thank you so much again for the support. Do I use XMP? Uh, because I, so I do have XMP set for this. That said, when I added the extra 64 uh, gigs of RAM, I might not have set the profile and that could be why it's tuning it down. So that's a good point. I should I should check my XMP profiles because that, that could be a problem. I didn't even think about that. Good point, good point. Uh, can I use Rico to repurpose the commercial buildings? I can. I am curious if I do that, if it would, Im I, I need to learn more about that before I, before I do that. The main thing, I, I don't want to change all the buildings. So if I repurpose it, I just want to make sure I'm not doing too much uh, and, 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 and changing all the buildings. Richard says also YouTube premium, so I don't get the random YouTube ads. Yes. Uh, YouTube Premium is awesome. I don't have it anymore. I used to. Um, and YouTube Music, you know, it's it's absolutely awesome. Um, in terms of supporting creators, YouTube is actually very progressive about it. And they give pretty good splits for that. So it's it's very, very nice uh, for creators, too. So from that from that end, uh, do I ever plan on doing a face reveal? Maybe someday. I said if I get to a million subscribers, I think about it. <laughs> that's, that's what you do. You set the bar really far away and then maybe you'll never reach it <laughs> we'll have to see we'll have to see uh, but that that would be it for the time being my main concern is uh my job you know i don't want any conflicts between my job and uh youtube and the way to to prevent that has been to have that little bit of a barrier uh so premium at 12 dollars a month is too expensive yeah i forgot that it, it increased in price um, I guess look at it this way. It's a better deal than Twitter. <laughs> all of that stuff going on at Twitter. Um, I, first of all, I've just never really been a Twitter guy. I don't, I mean, I'm, I have it. And I think I even automatically posted, um, on here when I, when I went live, maybe I did. I don't know. Uh, but I just, I've never really liked it. And but seeing all the stuff going on there right now, it's just wild. And the thought that someone would pay $8 a month for Twitter, I just, I don't get it. To me, that sounds, 
I just, first of all, the proposal is shadow banning people. So basically, if, if, if you don't have Twitter blue now and you have a, a channel, so I, I've, I've city planner plays YT. Someone else could go in there and make city planner plays, get the blue check and then outrank me in search. That is really frustrating. So that is what Twitter is doing right now. I don't understand the line of thinking there. I, I get it. Being monetized from ads stinks if you want to make the free speech platform or anything and everything goes. The reason why there are restrictions on, on speech on some of those is not so much that the platforms care, because I, I don't think that they do. I think what it really comes down to is that they want advertisers <laughs> and if advertisers are what is getting getting keeping the business running having advertiser friendly content and not allowing hate speech especially all this i mean i will just be honest as a, as an african-american all of the uh racist stuff that's been posted on there recently is just kind of pretty appalling so uh seeing all of that um and then thinking i want to pay eight dollars a month <laughs> so that we can have more of that like no thank you hard pass <laughs> so uh twitter like i don't like facebook uh but twitter is rapidly becoming the next facebook in my opinion uh in terms of my utilization of it elon combined combined for cpp now <laughs> yeah i mean i i get what they're doing like you don't want to be holding to anybody i mean it's uh, I, I, it is a little, I will be honest, what I'm saying is a little bit hypocritical, a little bit, because I'm running sponsorship spots on my videos. And the reason I'm doing that is I get control over my content. I get to do what I want then, but it's not a platform. Elon's coming for me now. I hope so. <laughs> I think that Elon gets more credit than he deserves. That's, that's, that's my hot take. I don't think that he's necessarily the genius that some people make him out to be. I think some of it's luck. Uh, YouTube isn't much better, but the best, but the best of the worst. Well, maybe. I I like YouTube for the repository it is of information, um, and the plethora of viewpoints that you can see on there. So I I yeah, for me. YouTube is like the one so and then I'm super biased. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh YouTube for me is the best of the social media companies. Uh let's see. Elon's overrated. I agree. I agree. Uh what's the best face reveal you remember? I don't know. Wilson on home improvement? <laughs> Uh, that's that's a pretty good one. <laughs> the half a face. Uh, Twitter, you think it's a good thing in the long run, run, long run, Vey, that Twitter needs to give up the ad based model? Yeah, I, I, so that is a good point. I mean that that's that's kind of the the deal that we've all made on the internet that that kind of stinks. Uh, as all these platforms are quote unquote free. We are the product uh, you know, because we are the ones being marketed to. That's the goal. Um, that said, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I mean, YouTube, YouTube is probably the best platform for it because you're producing a tangible product of video and you can watch that video ad free if you pay for it. And people still don't want to do it. You know, like the, the, the number of people with YouTube premium is just fractional. I'm a YouTube creator with a fairly large, uh, you know, uh, viewer base and I don't have YouTube premium. I probably should. I don't know why I don't. <laughs> I mean, it's cause I have to justify it to my wife. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you do it with Twitter because I just, I don't see, I don't see it making sense to pay for it. Like it's just as, as you know, bluntly. So. Uh, how do I make my UI on the bottom look like that? I just got the game. Sorry. So this, there are a couple of different mods and I'll just take a couple of questions. I think that we've got most of everything reset and our population is going up. So a couple of these, this is the better road toolbar, uh, is the, the, I believe that is the, the one that I'm using right now, which separates this out. 
There is another one as well that I have in here. Yet another toolbar. I can't remember which one does which, uh, but the combination of the two of those is how this looks like this. Maybe this will this will do it. I'll click on this. Doesn't say. <laughs> so this allows you to do a lot though. You can come and expand the number of rows you have here, the number of columns, shrink it up. I have everything a lot bigger than I think I would personally prefer. The reason for that is just a lot of people are watching these on phones and can't see what I'm doing if I have it to set to 4K. Uh, why pay for YouTube when ad block exists? Um, I mean, you could certainly do that. Yeah, I, I, I think that that's it takes away the incentive for, for folks to make content if you block all the ads and there, you know, for some people. I mean, I think that's especially the stuff that has the really high production quality that's really expensive. I It's the reason why I don't use an ad blocker. So YouTube's paid with the ads Google sells through Gmail and Workspace. Yeah. Uh, if you pay $10 for one network and ten dollars for another yeah that so that it riley makes a good point and that is uh initially streaming and 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 everything we we had just a couple of options and it was you know 10 bucks for netflix no big deal and then it's 10 bucks for netflix and then 10 bucks for hulu and then 10 bucks for uh disney plus and then 10 bucks for for youtube and then 10 bucks for spotify on and on it 15 bucks for hbo and then hulu packages espn with it and now has a live version and now it's 80 bucks a month and all of a sudden it's cable again and that's that's not what we wanted that's not what we wanted um so i i hope that i hope that things kind of go back to where they were i think all these new streaming services it's just frustrating Super frustrating. Um, any thoughts? We're gonna. I'm. I'm. I think we're gonna end this in about ten minutes. But I want to take some questions from you. Uh, the first question, though, I, I have. I have a question for you guys. I'm gonna go street level somewhere. Drop in the comments where you want me to go street level. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take a look at our death care one more time. Hundred folks dead. Population still growing, and. Is there a working 2581 tiles mod at the moment? Yeah, 81 tiles too. Beta is working. So I definitely would go there if that's what you're looking at. Uh, that is, oh, do I not have 81 tiles too in here? Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 it is. 81 tiles to 0.9.4. That is the one that I'm using. This is the one that allows you to get rid of all of the water and electric lines if you want heating all of that you don't need any of it so definitely check that one out and let's see check the floating restaurant it has no connection so trash and bodies are accumulated there Ooh, i will definitely do that and we'll yes great point we'll move the spawn point that should fix it hopefully we'll have to keep an eye on that one but yeah moving the spawn point should fix it thank you so much mario for the support and for pointing that out all right, downtown Ashland, Fairchild, better fix that traffic. How bad is the traffic? 72, it's not very good. <laughs> I guess, ooh, look at everyone's mad that I reset this now, it's really loud. All right, we're gonna have to spend some time at Ashland soon. I think that, first of all, I don't love, uh, I don't love the amount of density here. We could we could do a little bit here. Uh, Planner Duck, any thoughts on a bluff, bluff side crossing revamp or fix episode? I have thought about that. Um, I am a, I'm a little, I'm not sure what I should be, what I should be doing, uh, truthfully. So I've thought about that. I took a day off work, not that long ago, actually, uh, with the intention to make some city tips videos. And I, uh, I did not name those streets. I will get the, I will get to those mulligan. Um, so I went there with the intention of doing, uh, with the, with the intention of creating a city tips video. And I struggled to get any of the builds that were submitted running. It was absolutely miserable. <laughs> so um, after that, it, it's kind of made me wonder, well, you know, how, I mean, how long would it take me to get Bluffside Crossing running again? Um, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I apologize. Hit the microphone. Any thoughts on a beach DLC? I would love that. I wish that we had that. Just one beach asset that I can place, kind of like the old SimCity 4 one, would be amazing. Uh, here we've got a duck road. And we're going to make this one. 
Vey Highway. And this one goes quite a ways, and that's in the area that we've been working today. So I like that. I like that. Uh, let's see. First CPP video you watch is Mini Motorways. That is something I've, I've been meaning to do. So I actually, um, I want to, I want to, I've been thinking about making another Mini Motorways mini series soon, especially with the new update. The other game I thought about that I really, I, the reason I'd never made the video is because I get super sucked into it is, uh, trying to think of the name of it. Let's see. Flycorp. So Flycorp is an absolute blast. It is the kind of game, it's not very complicated. And I've played definitely more than eight minutes, but I played it on my City Planner Plays account. Um, I just get so sucked in. Vey Way. <laughs> I like that. There we go. Um, so yeah, that that is a that is a game I've thought about. Do I have a Lee Avenue? I don't believe that I do. I don't believe that I do. Why don't we have we'll take Home Street, which goes all the way. Oh power connection obviously not needed let's reset this and then i will add i will i think we're going to take this and make this leeway or lee highway or something along that line there we go actually we'll make this hawkins hawkins street okay Mario, thank you so much. Uh, keep up the good work. You're one of my favorite creators. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. All right. So I am going to place this down in Ashland. We're going to place this right on the main drag. And from here, maybe, let's see. We need a little bit more action than that. Right here. This will be a good spot. And we'll see Philip. That's how we know we're in a we're in a good place. <laughs> <laughs> so from here, I will I will answer some questions. Have I played Frostpunk? I have not. I do have it. Uh, any chance of another Timberborn? I so I mentioned this earlier. I am going to place a community poll asking about a secondary game for a mini series uh, in December. I'm just going to have a lot more time. Um, I have a lot going on at work through mid December. That has really been making. Uh, making it more difficult for me to juggle everything. So with that in mind, after that is done, I should have a lot more uh, time available to, to take care of uh, whatever I want with the YouTube channel. That'll mean I'm on Discord more and everything. So um, let's see next. Oh, so I'm sorry. I think I lost track of what I was trying to say is, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to place that community tab and I'll ask that question. Uh, what game should I play? Uh, let's see. C CPP Sims 4. Now that it's free. Is Sims 4 free? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I already... I think I had access to it through Game Pass. Um, I don't think you want me to pretend to be an architect. You're going to see some real ugly houses. <laughs> uh, when, if Civ 7 releases? Yeah, I would... I hope it's more like Civ 5. If it is, I understand that there's more of a city planning aspect to Civ 6, but I would still like Civ 5 recreated. <laughs> um, have I ever been to Italy? I flew into Italy to get to Greece. So I went to, I can't remember what airport that is. Um, Leonardo, da, is it Leonardo da Vinci? Da Vinci? I don't know. So I got to see it from, from the sky. Beautiful. Really nice airport. Uh, and the food. So I flew on Alitalia when it was still existed. And that was the absolute best flight I've ever been on. Uh, I got a free glass of wine. The dinner I had was amazing. The uh, all of the staff was was just wonderful. I was really really bummed to hear that uh, that they shut down. Philip again. There he is. Uh, thanks for streaming. I'm an aspiring planner, and this channel is an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Civ Five goaded. I agree. I agree. Uh, have I played Humankind? I have not, but I do. I believe that's on Game Pass too, and I do have I do have Game Pass. Uh, RCE, RCE is awesome. If, 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 when you finish here, if you're not going to watch a video on this channel, I would say go check out RCE if you haven't. Have I ever been to Greece? Yeah, I spent time in Athens and then I took a ferry to Santorini and I spent a few days there. And then they had what is kind of like a, 
from my understanding, it's it's kind of the, the Greek version of a hurricane coming right at Santorini. So they canceled my ferry and I, I left. So my wife and I, we, we leave our little hotel room, which is this beautiful hotel that opened up and you can see the volcano. So we've got our bags and we're just standing on the side of the road and it's fine. And uh, they're like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like we, we don't have any rooms now. <laughs> so um, you've got to find a way off the island. Um, everyone's going to be booked up. So luckily we went through probably what I, it's probably the sketchiest website ever for a vacation It's called great value vacations. I wouldn't think much of it. It's just kind of this random website and the deals were just out of this world. We paid $2,000 per person round trip. Uh, and some of those stay and then none of them, none of the meals were included. Well, there was one, one, one like romantic dinner in Santorini. Um, but they ended up arranging a flight for us to get off the island and then uh, a bus ticket to get back to our hotel in Athens. And I felt so bad because we were at the airport and there were other folks there that were, were just trapped. They wanted to get on a flight, but the Great Value Vacations actually, they, they, it was a, they did a, a solid and uh, they came through. We, we had this specific lady that we were speaking to, which is really the, kind of the neat part about it. You don't think that if you're going to be online and, uh, you know, booking online at some nondescript travel website that you're going to get a real person to interact with. But I, I got a real person to interact with. They got us uh, a flight out of there, got back to Athens, got to walk around. I think Athens is probably the safest I've ever felt in a big city at night. Lots of graffiti, which I think was kind of unfortunate. But um, in terms of a city, just the very vibrant at night. Um, yeah, Greece is an amazing country. I, I, I could, I could absolutely see myself living there for a couple years. I see Biffa's in here. Hi, Biffa. Uh, let's see. I missed the super chat from Mario. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Um, and Biffa, you're coming in right at the end. We're about to, we're, we're, uh, I'm going to answer a few more questions and, uh, we, uh, we've had a, it's been an interesting day. <laughs> Uh, yes, lots of ambulances. This is the main drag in the city. So this is the arterial. Most of the traffic in the city is going to come through here. This is also another reason why I don't think traffic in Ashland will ever be great between this and the Walmart. A uh, great value Walmart. <laughs> great value vacation is, is very similar. I, I felt like it. Athens is gorgeous at night. So there was a there was a one of the nights when my wife and I went to this bar with the best view of the Acropolis. I, I understand it. You can see the Acropolis everywhere in Athens, but open air bar, just having a glass of wine, sitting and looking out at the Acropolis, you know, room temperature outside, dry air, uh, just unbeatable, just unbeatable. Uh, opinions of Southern European cities. Iberian, thank you so much for the support. I don't think they get enough attention in city skylines. I think they're great. I think they're great. Um, you know, any, any historic European cities, you just, there's just something special about them. You know, and maybe that's just, there's a bit of wonder for me as an American where, you know, most cities that I'm exposed to haven't been around for more than a couple hundred years. And as a result, they are very planned and controlled. Um, it, it, it feels nice to have that human touch that you see in, in Europe and in Southern Europe in particular too. And the, the preservation of the historic uh, structures there absolutely uh, absolutely wild um did milan bay collegiate ever get named i don't know i don't believe so canuck thank you so much for the support let's where am i i'm lost <laughs> it's like i didn't build this uh you know clearwater county institute is that what you're talking about yeah athens says Athens. Yeah. So two things. I'm very spry today. Yes. I normally record at night and I am hopped up on coffee right now. So that helps. Uh, <laughs> Athens is very reasonable prices. I completely agree. Uh, so definitely, definitely cool. Uh, 420,000 subs. I remember when the channel had 20,000. Yeah, I know. I, I still marvel at that. It's kind of wild to me. I, and I, I, because of that, I feel like I need to con keep increasing the quality of the videos to justify that sub count. <laughs> because uh, I think about the very first video that I, I, 
first one wasn't great. The second one was awful. <laughs> so all oh, the little arts high school, little arts high school. Ah, over here. High capacity high school. <laughs> so tell me the name. I will give this one to you, Canuck. My voice brings you comfort. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I, 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 it's funny. My wife told me that, uh, she thought I had a, a voice for this and I didn't, I never really thought about it. Um, but when we, when we first met, we would, uh, we would talk on the phone and she would pass out every single time. <laughs> and maybe that I, the number of comments that I've seen that have said, uh, that people listen to my videos and fall asleep. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think we got it in there for you. Thank you so much, Canuck, for both the support and for reminding me. So that's the thing. When I move around, I end up, uh, when I move around different build types. I sometimes forget these things. I'm trying to do a better job of that. I think I've been doing... A much better job recently uh follow a bus i do we have follow a tram that be okay the buses i think that mo i guess uh we have the regional buses so let's see we'll follow a regional bus which one should we follow so we've got our numbers are all off We've got one, three, four, five, six, seven. So this should be number two. Okay, so which bus should we follow? I think that's how we will end this. Planner Duck is out. Thank you so much, Planner Duck. Thank you so much. Okay, tram or bus? Um, Let's see, what kind of music do I listen to? I listen to everything. Uh, my favorite artist is Thundercat. I think that um, just speaks to me. So like the, the, the year end review for Spotify last year wasn't even close. Like I just listened to Thundercat all day. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I listened to a little bit of everything. Belmont flyer. I haven't, I haven't seen many other suggestions. So we might just do that one. Blue seven Otter Lake. Oh, and I didn't even, God. So number two, it didn't save. I always forget to hit enter. Oh, it's too long. That's why. Okay, cool. Uh, two. All right, we're just going to do this one. We'll follow this one. And I guess it would be very helpful to not be in that view. Let's see. We'll pause it and pop in here. Here we go. Uh, follow three through Ashland. All right. Well, a uh, Thundercat is one of three bassists that sound good taking a solo. I agree. Thundercat has a lot of range too. I mean, being in suicidal tendencies, just to never imagine. It's like, I think it was like a teenage, like a young teenager at the time. It's kind of wild. Um, so yeah, a, a Thundercat just speaks to me. Um, I also, uh, growing up like Weezer was one of my favorite bands. Um, I actually saw Weezer in 2019. They came to Madison. Excellent concert. Um, I like Daft Punk a lot. That's that's one of the reasons why in all the tours in Nicolay Bay, I've been playing a lot of that, uh, a lot of the music that I've been playing because it reminds me of Daft Punk. And uh, I'm, I'm still mourning the loss of Daft Punk. Uh, I like Pharrell. I like Tyler, the creator. I like, um, I like a lot of rap. I like a lot of... Uh, I like a lot of indie rock. I like some country as long like older country. Um, yeah, a little everything, a little everything. <laughs> we just ran over those kids, busted a child. Yeah. You know, uh, we have priorities here, apparently. <laughs> uh, Weezer is dope. I agree. I really enjoyed the, the music that Weezer's coming out with during the, like the middle of the pandemic. I thought it was actually pretty good. Rivers is very, very talented. <laughs> Uh, do I like justice? Yeah, justice is good. 
Uh, I haven't listened to just this much since I was in LA. If I'm being completely upfront with you. Uh, Death Grips don't know who they are. Let's see. Cons uh, thoughts on the conspiracy theories that Rivers was actually Kurt Cobain. That's funny. I've never heard that one. <laughs> that is a that is an interesting one. I, now, now I'm going to go down the rabbit hole. I'm going to get off here and Diana is going to send me down the, the rabbit hole. So thank you for that. <laughs> uh, Clearwater County needs more Yimbies. I feel like I feel like Van Buren has just been Yimbies. And even here, we've gone and added a ton of density. Uh, Chevy Ram or Ford. I'm pretty agnostic to that. <laughs> so I've had a I had a Chevy. I've had a Ford. I've never had. A, oh, actually, I learned. So I a, a Ram Ram was Dodge at one point. I, had, I learned how to drive on a Dodge Caravan. So. Um, but I drove. For years uh, in my youth, I drove a Mustang and I was super proud of my Mustang. I thought it was super fun. Um, so I guess Ford, uh, but I also had a Chevy Cavalier for a while. Never. I'm not a truck guy. Never had a truck. Uh, Kurt faked his own death because he wanted to do popular music. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Bon Iver never, never been a fan. My wife likes, likes him, but not me. Uh, Fleet Foxes. Uh, I haven't really listened to them much. Uh, the city is beautiful. Makes me want to send 57 meteors. My crappy city for being so crappy. No, no, do not destroy your city. Uh, improve it. Uh, and I, I think if there's anything I'm trying to demonstrate with what I'm doing um, with my content is that you can just keep iterating your cities. You don't have to start over. Um, and I know it's probably killing my channel from, from that standpoint. If I were creating more cities uh, more frequently and finishing projects, it'd probably be better for the growth of the channel. Um, but I, I personally, I start cities and I just like get stuck in them forever and I revisit them. And I think it's that's the way that I like to play. Uh, let's see. Didn't take me for a Mustang driver. I am no longer a Mustang driver, but I was big into it. I grew up in a small town where everyone like driving was a rite of passage. And I was the one nutter that got his license late, uh, mainly because I didn't go through driver's ed and pay for it because I didn't have any money. So, um, uh, when I finally got to drive, I had so I had, a, I had a Cutlass Calais, Oldsmobile Cutlass Calais is my first car, and it broke down in the first week I had it, and I traded that in uh, for a Ford Escort, which was absolutely miserable. And, uh, and then eventually, what did I get, a Plymouth Sundance? Yeah, like, like Just like weird little cars. Um, and after having all these weird little cars, I just wanted something that made me feel like I was driving powerful, but a really powerful vehicle. And it was just a V6 Mustang, a 2000, it was white. And uh, totally should have never bought it. Just stupid car to have in Wisconsin. I ended up moving out to California, fine car for California until gas hit $5 a gallon. And all of these experiences, that Mustang actually might be part of the reason I'm an urban planner. Because when gas hit $5 a gallon back in 2000, ugh. 2008 and I was driving around that Mustang around LA getting 21 22 miles a gallon jeez I'll tell you I I could feel my bank account <laughs> getting closer and closer to zero as I was sitting in the car idling and yeah it's just it was terrible it was terrible so eventually I exchanged that in for a Hyundai and uh, yeah, now I got a Kia. So there you go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, 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 that's the, that's the, the cycle of life, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take one more question. Cutlass Sierra is your first guy. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take one more question. And then where's this bus going? That's not the question. <laughs> it's coming. It's, I think it's going, this one's going to the high school and then it's going to turn back around and go to the church in Shorewood. Uh, let's see. Pontiac Sunfire never gave you a lick. Of so I feel like we had the same car. So I had a 2004, uh, Chevy Cavalier for a while. Or is it 2000? Maybe no, not 98, 98. 
And I'll tell you what, I had no problems with that. The, the problem I have with that car is that I couldn't escape the deer fast enough. And the only time I've ever hit a deer, I smoked the deer going 60 miles per hour on a, a little state highway. And I don't think, I, I think I shook for like a day. <laughs> like the deer bounced right off and was still alive, at least as far as I could tell. My car was not alive. It was in a, it was in rough shape. And I had a cousin who was really handy with cars. I, you might not realize this, or maybe you do. I'm not good with, uh, with, with cars. <laughs> so, uh, I, I looked at it and I was like, you know, I can see if I could do a couple of things. He took it, straightened it out, made it look good as new and drove it around. Um, but I, yeah, I got rid of it. I gave it to him for like a couple hundred bucks. I was happy to get anything and <laughs> did not have to tow it. Uh, but it, yeah, totally, totally wrecked the car. Uh, is the first car driven or the first car purchased? Uh, I, I've purchased all my cars. So that was one of my other realizations is that that first car, um, not the first one, the second car, I was existing to pay for that car. So I got a job, I worked at McDonald's and I, I used to, I played basketball and I had to stop playing basketball because I had to work at McDonald's so I could afford my car payment, my insurance and my gas. So I had to quit my hobby, my athletic endeavor, so I could go work at McDonald's so I could afford the car that I had so I could drive to McDonald's. <laughs> so like, it was the dumbest thing, like to have a car so I could drive to work so I could be at work to pay for the car. Like, like, come on, like that. So that was kind of a, an eye opening thing for me as well. Uh, let's see silver. Thank you so much for the support. You, oh, that's, that's, I think I saw that one. Why did that one come back up? Well, I, I still appreciate the support silver. Uh, so, and then Walt ye, thank you so much for the support. Most liberal arts colleges are private. So it's a bit strange. A private college is named after a County. Would you consider a name change? Yeah, I would. Uh, I think that was actually the default name that, that was generated. So yeah, I would definitely consider a, a new name for the college. Uh, how old was I when I graduated from planning school? I was 24. I was 24. So I had a, not that I didn't have a straight line. <laughs> That's funny. A Lambo just pulling out of here. Uh, I had a, didn't have a straight line between grad school and undergrad. And even in undergrad, I was just, uh, I, I took time off. I, 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 I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but I was a graphic design major and then I was a sociology major and then I was a dropout <laughs> because I couldn't, I, I couldn't focus on anything cause I couldn't find what I actually wanted to do. And, um, the time off is how I made my way to LA. Oh, oh, we're going to no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I ended up, um, uh, making my way out to LA and that's how I found planning. But I, I, it was really kind of a, not a straight line at all. So it took me a little bit longer than it should have. Uh, the, the one saving grace with grad school is I actually was a planning major in undergrad. So that took a bunch of time off in grad school and to finish getting my planning degree, they actually allowed me to take some civil engineer coursework. So, uh, I learned all about the highway capacity manual so I could talk to engineers and tell them that I don't like it. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I think that I am going to call it and uh, get out of this little hot office. But I really appreciate you guys joining me here today. I appreciate all the support. And uh, I'm glad that you're here with me. I didn't have a video, but uh, I, sometimes I think these streams are even more fun than the videos itself. So, um, uh, I really appreciate that. I appreciate every single super chat. If I missed you, I apologize. And, uh, again, thank you so much for being here with me today. We have to end this the right way. And there is only one appropriate way to end this. So I haven't had my headphones on for a while. Let me toss this on and I've been playing master plan music the entire time, but we have to, we have to get some cats walking going. So let's get that going. Let's see. The other thing we got to do is we've got to end this 
the right way. So let's grab our song. And I'm going to find this. It's going to take me just a second. All right. Cats. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Uh, if you liked this stream, please consider hitting the like button. I, I would really appreciate it. it. It helps increase the reach of these. And I know that for a stream, it can be challenging. Uh, and I would appreciate if you uh, if you aren't subscribed, consider doing so. It's uh, it's free. It's easy to do. And uh, it helps the channel a lot as well. So maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just more of a, a clout thing. But uh, I, I like it. <laughs> so uh, here we go. I'm going to add this here. 20. And then we will pause this. Set this to 3. Change the time on pause, and here we go. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.